Do their navy ships and their cruise ships. Okay, we are live. Yes. Oh, we're now live. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recipe for Disaster. Yo. Hi. Thanks for tuning in and joining us. Um, let us know how the audio sounds because I'm trying to dial in the volume for the behind the scenes. Hey Trevor, can I have you turned on that audio on the speaker just a little bit? Just a hair. Just an er. Just a her. <laughs> um, so, had a great time. Announcements, just real quick. Uh, we might be moving the announcements. We're talking and doing things differently. We're always trying to change things up to make it interesting. Uh, but, just real quick announcements. Had a great time today in Petaluma. Um, it was real fun. Met a lot of really good people. Um, had a lot of good chats. Uh, met a guy that makes. Grandma, please. Markers. Thank you. Condition markers that go around your minis. He prints them. Uh, he'll do custom designs if possible, if needed. He actually agreed to do custom ones for us. These are not the custom ones, but he will be doing some custom ones for our stream and our game. Is he able to make one that says pit pants? Um, yes. Okay. Yes, I'm going to actually ask him for that one. Soiled. Soiled pants. Soiled pants. <laughs> that way it covers both. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know. Foul smelling, or feces, sure, smells like feces. Make sure it's yellow or like, <laughs> a, or like a coat color. <laughs> right. Thank you, Hairball, for subscribing. <laughs> Woo! Thank Woo! you, Hairball. Um, for those people that want to look up the guy that makes these, it's Old Squire Designs. He is on Etsy. On Etsy, Instagram, really great guy. Really fun to talk with. Oh, yeah. Chatted with him for what, probably way too long. Anyway. <laughs> uh, right. Great guy. So yeah, Petaluma was great. Next month, um, George and I will be in... Fairfield? Fairfield. Is that right? Fairfield at the con. Unfortunately, C.E.R. Elwood will not, but her books will be. So if you guys are in the Fairfield area, um, second weekend, second Sunday in September, look me up. I'll be there. Look George up. He'll be there. And Christine's books will be there. Um, any other announcements? Uh, Thursday nights, 8.30, Fortune Papers 4, you're on this channel. Uh, and uh, let's see, also, uh, as one of the sponsors, is going to sneak that one in. Thank you so much for uh, Four Eyes Ales on Instagram. It's the number four, E-Y-E-S, uh, A-L-E-S. Check them out. Uh, they are going to be shipping us some beer. Uh, hopefully it will be here Thursday. If not, we're going to do it next week. There's going to be one beer for here for us and then one beer for Fortune Papers and Forge. Uh, and also, Fortune Bears Board is going to have uh, a little prize. We're going to be actually playing for a prize uh, that's uh, for us to sponsor, uh, you know, uh, through our way. So, well, you, you, you just got to do good at the game, and uh, you might win it. Right on. I do have to add with announcements uh, for events that we're going to do. Okay. September 2nd in Turlock. Okay. You might be there. I might be there at the September 2nd in Turlock. Um, we'll see. <laughs> but Christine will be there, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun to be had. So. Isn't that the uh, also Helen Games? I have no idea. I also want to thank uh, our longtime sponsors and uh, hosts, Endearing Films, and Chuck Skellington himself. Thanks, Chuck! Thank you, Chuck! Hi, Chuck! <laughs> says you're welcome. Um, and in addition to him, uh, if... Well, if you ever have any uh, filming needs, uh, check out Endearing Films. They do a hell of a lot of weddings, um, but they're not limited to just that. So if you need commercials done, um, any kind of like advertising like that, uh, he does photography, videography. That's cinematic quality. Cinematic quality. Uh, some voiceover. Mm -hmm. uh, he can get that <coughs> as well. But no porn. Well, Why not? Not yet. I've been promised all Hey, otherwise. Chuck, you feel porn? Yes. <laughs> he says <Maybe>. yes. <laughs> if it pays good. <laughs> You've crossed the line here. He shoots everything. <laughs> Says the preacher. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> the, the realistic preacher. <laughs> yep, can't forget about man. that. Can't forget about um, that practical. <laughs> And uh, Epic last and but not least, I want to thank Epic Worlds and Games. Hey, Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Big thanks to Jimmy. Uh, also, a long time 
uh, sponsor of our show here. Uh, you poor bastard. Don't say that about Jimmy. Don't him. say that about Jimmy. He's a great guy. Yeah, we wish him uh, we wish him all the wealth. luck and, and all the wealth and, yeah. and, and everything. And yeah. when are you going to join us, man? Come well, on. When I tell him he can and when I make those arrangements. Okay. okay don't jump the gun on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so if you have any uh, tabletop or board gaming needs, um, check them out. Uh, if they don't have what it is you're looking for, j tell Jimmy and he can probably get it for you. Stop. In fact, I'm... Certain he can. He's got a couple games for my dad for my dad already. That reminds me a little bit. Um, Old Square Designs has asked when we actually get our book ready to be sold. He's willing to sell it for us Ooh. at his table of events. He does. Sweet. So oh, fantastic. Um, all he asks in return is to get an autographed copy from everyone here for yes. himself. Fantastic. Done. Do that. So I was like, done. We can do that. That's, that's, a, that's a great given. announcement. Everybody yeah. else needed to know. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They did. Because what that means is if you want to uh, sell our books for us as well, the same offer is open. Dramatically <laughs> decreases the price, but you'll love it. Although, <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if uh, people are interested in that sort of thing, there might be something we could uh, do on Patreon. Wait, wait, yeah, wait, wait, right. wait. We could make it like a fundraiser. I've got this. So they have to sell a certain amount of books before they can get the signed free copy. <laughs> no. Who do you think we are, the fucking Girl Scouts? Well, I was thinking more like elementary schools, but that oh, works. Okay. Yes, no. Um, any <laughs> other announcements? Why, well, yes. Uh, uh, yes, thank you to our subscribers. Oh, yeah. Uh, Thanks for the subscribers. Mammy Jam and Hairball. Woo. Thank you for As talking usual. right and over me. And I wasn't done with my, my announcements. I thought you were. Well, my bad. Yeah. They my kept bad. interrupting. Okay, no. next time, choppy, chop, chop. Or sing them next time. Uh -huh. No. Okay. So we forgot a uh, sponsor, actually, for Isaiah, but it's... Rafa mentioned him. Oh, did? Rafa yeah. I don't, it, I don't listen to Rafa. I don't, <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't when he talks about Fortune talk. talk. Favors the board, but <laughs> you know, for Isaiah, <laughs> it's been a while since we've got a shipment of beer, so... They're sending us some that was in his announcement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it. <laughs> Any other it doesn't, it doesn't matter for, for, for him. He's like he's like he's uh, getting some both ways. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, it is the start of symphony season, and <laughs> Modesto Symphony Chorus is auditioning for new choir members. He announced that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so if you're in the area and you feel like singing with the choir. Um, which performs with the symphony at the Gallo Center, um, both in uh, winter and spring. Uh, then uh, drop me a line. I'll give you the audition information. And hey, um, in the spring we're doing Carmina Barana, which is one of the great choral works that everybody knows because it's always in a movie. So, anyways, hey, that's it. Okay. Any other oh, announcements, oh, folks? Hey Chuck, which uh, slot is George on? Uh, I got it. Thank you. That's so a good announcement. Yeah. At Petaluma today, I met a old Marine from World War II who stormed the beaches of the Philippines. Wow. Had fun talking to him for about an hour. That's awesome. Any other announcements? Anybody? 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 I don't know uh, if they heard you, George, but you know. George. Oh, talk. George's mic is pretty loud. Yeah. So yeah, they heard you. They definitely they heard, heard you. They, they heard you like. What? I can't. Five houses over. <laughs> that's that's why. I of every house. <laughs> Are we sure it's his mic though, and not just George? No. Well, <laughs> I guess there is that possibility. There, you can be your place something doesn't Ryan work right. The other right? One well, okay, and Ryan was the one you didn't set also. Yeah. Woohoo! Uh, what did you say again, bud? Say one time. Which one? Yes. Your announcement. Today in Petaluma, I met an old Marine who stormed the beaches at uh, the Philippines during World War II. Pretty Sat impressive. and talked to him for about an hour. It was very interesting. Pretty impressive. It was good. Pretty impressive. Oh, okay. What about you, Ryan? I thought maybe it was uh, the other, uh, like, I uh, got nothing. Philippines War. Huh? I've got nothing. What did you do this week, dude? Uh, the Spanish-American War? Work, 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 work. Not that work, old. Work, work. I uh, played video games and worked. <laughs> that's, that's how eventful my week was. I went out to a fun karaoke night last night with Rafa oh. and Victoria. Ooh. Another friend, Jamie. 
I mean, I was that was, it was fun <laughs> hanging out it was that KJ. Hanging out. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, the karaoke was uh, less uh, than spectacular. Uh, Bayou? Yeah, Bayou. Yeah. I am trying not to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> long day for the three of us. Enough. Or maybe more. Coffee yet, but I'm working mm -hmm. on it. Okay. Oh, hey. I've got a new hot sauce for my chicken, so people have been trying it out uh, so far. It's a positive reception. Still feeling it? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so. Sauce. Thank you. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started on tonight's episode of Recipe for Disaster then. When last, uh, so last week, you guys spent the time figuring out what you're going to do. Um, we started off with a quick investigation of the murder scene and we determined that it was indeed a Belial agent that was in charge of the murder. A uh, Lupinoid, but he was still Belial. Uh, he was a, a, a winged wing, fox. A winged fox, specifically. Um, the group uh, got together, there was another revival, and uh, overall there were some connections made with another winged fox for, that worked for the um, Project Project Onslaught. Thank you. I just <laughs> blanked for no apparent reason. And uh, you guys have decided that you are going to try to figure out and use some methods to try to find out more information. So. The preacher Barnabas sent a message to the police detective. Bill sent a message to Project Onslaught and actually had a meeting with their winged fox. Um, and I left five messages with my contact. You left five messages. Dustin left five messages with his contact, and Jack had requested a map of all of the murders. The more detailed, the better. The more detailed, the better. She's. We got names. Um. I immediately forgot what that word was. Right. I was trying to figure out what the heck you wrote. This is for you, or who is this for? For me. Okay. Sorry. All right. When you um, get time. Yeah. Keep doing your. <clears throat> so that is where we left. Is she was going to get that information to you guys? Um, she said she was going to send you the information. Um, through, she was going to send you the map information um, as soon as she got back to Langley um, through Bill. Uh, so we're going to start off with Bill. You receive an email oh. with the map information All right. that you can print out and give to Jack. Was it in my spam folder? Hello. low. Low. No. Okay, good. It's not in your spam folder. In fact, it doesn't even have a, a sender's address. It just appeared in there. It's not like you received a new email. It's just you look and it was there. Okay. It's your only like email. Like someone hacked it into <coughs> there for so you. It's the only email you have. So I'm going to go ahead and print it out. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to hand it to Jack. Yeah. Did you see this? No. Oh. Wait, can you just you send me uh, a copy? You don't have to print it out. Your accent is hmm? uh, <laughs> <it's> so weird. <laughs> <laughs> No, what is it? Your hand is Sonny, me. can you send me your copy? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, John, I am wondering how. Okay, so how you and yeah. Trevor can share my laptop screen. This is going to be interesting. I'm, I'm curious. Because that's about the best I can do at this moment. How did you print out that on a bus? He's got a portable printer. Yes, that was part of the Word credentials they gave me. Gotcha. Oh, so I can take a see the laptop. I can take a look at it later after you're done perusing it with your blind eyes. Well, right now I can't look at it at all. You need it. it just feels um, like one smooth so Trevor, space. Yep. Trevor. Yep. On the desktop, there is an image that has it. Go ahead and print that, and, give, and that'll be what Quasi can reference right now because I know you're using it for a different reason. So you need the more complete map that you can actually zoom in and see the cities. See, uh, Trevor is watching like a uh, monster truck porn. Probably. Monster Probably. truck porn. Probably. Mm -hmm. Rafa. That explains the axle grease. Is this the uh, X920 here? I don't know. You should be able to see the map with the Belial symbol on it. Cannon. Maybe you should oh, take off your sunglasses. Yes. But then he'll... It won't matter. Because you won't be able to see. So, John. Yeah. 
once I have the image. I know how these uh, these fed types uh, think. They're all analytical, but since uh, I do have experience as an artiste, um, I'm going to try and figure out some information um, on the locations based on brushstroke or or pen line. If somebody was sketching out this image and see if there's a correlation to 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 somebody that was actually drawn the image and the uh, occurrences of the murders. Okay. So the uh, um, fine arts, basically. Okay. Go ahead and roll. That is a thirteen. Okay. Um, whoever drew the image on there was mm -hmm. not an artist. It looked like literally they made the image by going point to point <laughs> to make it. So it's very rough. It's not really smooth looking. It's like literally like someone was doing a dot to dot as they were making the image. Connect the dot. La so, la la. Um, it's, it's easy to tell that these that each of the points that they stopped at where the pen stopped was a murder location and there are a crap ton of them. Report. I uh, go to the pen stop where Atlanta, Georgia is, okay. where we are, and see uh, what are the closest points on this, uh, this, this, this graphic and see, uh, uh, see where the, uh, the looks like the murders are. There's a whole bunch in this area. Yeah, there's there's quite a few. To to give you a reference. <clears throat> All the black is where there's murders. <laughs> <laughs> Those have already happened. Yes, these are all that have already happened. And that's uh, the Greater Atlanta area. Yeah. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> So to mention, to repeat what she had mentioned earlier, is he has killed a lot of people. <laughs> and he didn't do them in order to make... I mean, he did them to make the shape of the Belial symbol, but he did not do them, like, in order, like, oh, and here we're going to go up here and do it this way. It was all random ordered. And so it took them a while to realize that it was even making that shape. And uh, that area is the crux between the jawline and the cranium. Hmm. You can see that? Yes, well, I have the ability to zoom in and out. <laughs> oh, okay. Of his blindness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so It's those, a really big map that those you're printing are, those out. Of also, you that it should are, be printed out by now. Those of you that are watching Jack with this map, he's actually just running his fingers over it. A flat map. A flat map, and he's running his fingers over it. And he's like, oh yeah, and it's right here. And it, like he points out and holds it up. You know, as somebody who could blindly read books as well, I mean, and this is not a joke, like, you know, this, it is kind of neat that you're able to, I'm assuming this is what you're doing, you know, just kind of yeah. feel the, the curvature of the ink alone. Basically. Yeah. It'd be a bit nicer if it was a topographical map, but. <laughs> it's in black and white, is that okay? There's going to be a lot of bleed over. Can you taste the color? No. <laughs> this tastes like orange. It's actually tea. <laughs> so roughly, right side where the uh, jawline connects to. Yeah, I know where I'm glad to is. Oh. <laughs> so did they? Did they? Did that person kill people like on cruise ships or something? Uh, like so the ignore water? the water spot, the water locations. Never mind. But yes, well, see, I <laughs> wasn't told to ignore them earlier. Earlier, uh, I was told, "Yup." Uh, a better, a better, uh, a better map will eventually be made that we can share no. with the stream. But we're not sharing no. this map with the stream. Oh. No, we're not sharing. <laughs> no, because that would be copyrighted That's photo. Perfect timing. A map? Yes, the map is a copyrighted photo, but we will eventually have a better one that we can share it's with because it has statistics and data <laughs> so we should probably head to the forehead now 
she said it hasn't been filled in yet. It's Correct. Just so the all outline. of the eye areas, all of the dark areas, so it's just a, a, around the outside of the dark spots. The dark spots themselves have not been filled in. So the nose holes are they Correct. outlined? The nose, the nose holes are outlined. The eye holes are outlined. The biohazard. radio, the biohazard symbol is outlined. None of the interior blackness has been filled in as of yet. And the bones are finished. Um, the bones are finished as much as can be on land. Correct. So, Dom, um, I'm going to attack this from another angle. Okay. Um, it was said that uh, silhouette, the guy, mm -hmm. uh, perp. Correct. Uh, did not make mistakes. Correct. So we shot this poor lady, left a, left a, a nice child orphan mm -hmm. through the wall. Yep. That had nothing to do with uh, the apartment. So I'm wondering, okay, was this a tooth? So I'm going to try and find out a little bit more on where this, uh, this, this, this bystander, bystander um, had recently been. And see if uh, if that was uh, part of uh, another location indicated by the map. Okay. So how are you going to find out where the bystander had been? Hey, the collector. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Detective Clay. Do you have a list of uh, recent uh, addresses of uh, that one poor lady? No, uh, no, no, no. That's what I forgot. My copy of that. You didn't. I left it at home. You did. Yeah. I just realized it. Allison Maynard? I Allison suppose. Maynard. Well, hey. I'm, I'm going off the actual police report. So. Um, no, but I, I can, uh, we can go question her daughter. Yeah. Uh,. Do so. This might uh, pertain to like the next Belial murder. Is that important? Oh, definitely. I'll, um, I'll get right on. I'll, I'll try to do it with, in a way that the uh, feds won't notice. Because technically not my case, but I will. Um, Are they watching her? I'll, I'll get on that. You can't hear this conversation. You don't have extended hearing. We already established that. He's on his phone. <laughs> now those two can chime in if they want with questions, but sorry. <laughs> I, don't know. I can't remember. Where in Florida were that's, we going That's my action? action. That's my, okay. that's my thing. That's in Florida? Yes, Nolan's is in Florida. Oh, I could have sworn that was in Louisiana. Nope, they moved it last week. Oh, shit. Which part of Florida is it? Panhandle. The Panhandle? Yeah, the right I Orlando. honestly didn't even remember that we were going to Florida, so... Days weren't, so that's fine. Well, we were. <laughs> we needed to make a stop in Florida or something for. Uh, Not Florida. What's his name? Was it New Orleans or was mm, it something else? Slocum. Oh, uh, Slocum. <laughs> Slocum, Alabama. <laughs> Not See, Florida. I'm really good also, at uh, memory. Also, so. not Florida. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you know, New Orleans, Florida Alabama. Town, New Orleans. <laughs> Where is Slocum? Well, it goes south from you Georgia. Ask the trucker. You know, the cool thing. I is would, but if he wasn't. <laughs> the cool thing is, is there's a search function in there, isn't there? Mm. Is there? Yeah, because it's Google Earth. Oh, <laughs> shit. Wow. What? What? What a concept! Hey, and if and they want to sponsor C, us, okay? I have no right? idea. we'd be all for that Google. Just saying. Oh hell yeah! Google, we know you need the, uh, you know, like the. Sponsorship. At Slocum, we'll be Texas. We'll be willing to spread the word for you. But 20 or so views. <laughs> you know, just, just trying to help you out. It's a wonderful program. I'd love to chat more about it, but I can't because of sponsorship reasons. Or lack thereof. Um, well, I've got good news and bad news. Bad news first. The, okay, well, the bad news is whatever's in Slocum... Might not be there anymore. <laughs> Good news? 
New Orleans is not in Alabama, and it's also not on uh, the list of places to be hit or have been hit. You know, so we that. can probably go and get uh, those uh, pasties you wanted. Beignets. <laughs> That's the one. Neat. <laughs> wow. I thought we were going to to, to New Orleans uh, because you had uh, your. Well, carnival people there too. Well, that's where they were going next, but I thought we were going because you wanted. Uh, Beignets. Yeah, the pasties. We could have multiple reasons by going to some location. But the good news is it's not on the list of uh, suspected places. So, <laughs> is it relevant to go there? Well, that depends on if you guys want to uh, not be my murdered. vacation. I really don't care. Well, your vacation? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm on vacation right now. Yeah. How long have you been on vacation? Oh, uh, how many days have we been on? Two days. Okay, two days. I'm gonna call James again. I thought you weren't on vacation <laughs> because you were uh, a working man for us now. Okay, so I'm semi on vacation. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um, go straight to voicemail. Oh, I have a question for you as well. Actually, this would be day three. So you guys would have woke up and this is when you're having a conversation first thing in the morning. With Forgot to tea. mention that. With your tea. I, um, Dustin, right? I, uh, I had a question for you. What did your friend want with those pennies again? Part of his investigation. Right. <laughs> so... You didn't think to question him on it, right? Didn't need to. I've known him for 20 plus years. So, apparently, if I remember in from the last night correctly, the feds have never once out of all of these that I'm feeling murders been able to reclaim pennies That's left why on the ice. I'm to call him. So we need to go to L.A. to find him. Louisiana. Yeah. No. <laughs> Los Angeles, California. Ah. Yeah. Ah. But, We're um, going to go and see the stars. New Orleans is on the way to Los Angeles, I believe. I don't know. That Anything's on the way, depending on which way you go. <laughs> <laughs> right? It takes a long while to cross the car, uh, to go across Texas. Texas is pretty wide. We could always no, it's Airbnb. okay. Los Angeles has already been hit too. It's on one of the uh, crossbones. But has the crossbones been filled in yet? Oh, well, they don't get filled in on the uh, logo, if I remember correctly, from when I was fifteen. Gotcha. When I last saw the logo. Okay. So we go to LA. Here they put on a train. Take D. Give that. Well, and Los Angeles does need saving. What time is it? Are uh, you okay, I a cat person that actually tried to help me in my crusade to yes, save I am. people? Aren't your people the spawn of the devil? No, they're not. Mm. I seem to recall you being there. Very yes, skeptical just, just yesterday night. Yesterday evening. Oh, well, the Sid are uh, very, um... You've, you've had a, an overnight conversion to the heart, and I appreciate it. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're whimsical people, mm -hmm. the Sid That tells me that uh, in a couple of days you're going to change your heart again, and you're just going to be an asshole again. Yeah. Which is okay. Yeah. Very I'm optimistic creature. Hmm? Very optimistic creature. I'm realistic, remember. That's so right. why is he in L.A. again? He's on an investigation, I believe, for the knights. For the knights? Like, looking for the knights? Yep. After okay. all of these years? So he's looking for the knights, but he's also collecting all of the pennies. Mm hmm They're obviously trapped in a coin-operated uh, cage. You must uh, find all the pennies and put them in the cage, and once you have, boop. 
open time. It seems like, and, and I could be wrong about this, but it, one of these two ventures he's wasting his time on when he could be spending it better putting his en energies towards the other. Just going well, on by the information I have. Be that as it may, he's not with us, so. Also, your friend has remarkable speed and ability to pick up on where these murders are. If he's able to be there before the feds and police can collect the bodies. He is a Canadian. Why don't you take that down as a question to ask him when we actually catch up to him? But then he'd forget where his notes are. Does your phone take dictation? What phone? Oh, you don't have a phone. Dude, I have a phone now. Him? Do you have a diary? A I have pad? one book and I... It's very specific. All of my other books are only for reading. However you want to do it. But I think uh, voicing my question here should uh, help keep it in all of our brains. John? Yeah. Is there any way I can do a predictive um, analysis of uh, these murders and see where the next likely location is? What skills do you have? Oh, I'm getting somewhere. We're actually going down to stats. Well, I'm just trying to figure out how well you could do that. So. Well, I could just do it. <laughs> <laughs> um. I have street magic. I have thieving abilities. Do you have investigation? No, but fine arts. Okay. So what are you trying to figure out again? Mm. Next likely murder. Um, go ahead and roll. And I'm lucky. Which is always helpful. Mm. I was an 18. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, say again what you were trying to do. Not that I'm ignoring you, I'm just trying to find something. I'm trying to know. predict the next location of, uh, uh, of one of these horrible murders. So the, um, from what you can figure, it'll be in those blackened areas, more than likely based off of the stuff. It'll either be the nose, the eye that's near nearest Atlanta, the nose or the radioactive symbol. Is the crack considered filled in already? Uh, no, the or crack is not filled in yet. There are portions that need to be done. There are so portions that need to be done. The eye, the nose, and the radioactive symbol? Yep, those are, those are the ones that you would think that your character would believe <coughs> to be the next ones. I take you from him. Yeah, roll your investigation, Mr. Investigator. Thirteen. Okay, yeah, so... I have investigation six. Um, you believe that it would be the nose area. Um, All right. the, the, specifically the nostril closest to Atlanta. Right. Based on... You're looking at the dates. The, so what isn't on those maps that you guys are looking at are, are um, there's actually dates written at each point of when it happened. Dates and, and times? No, not times, just dates. <laughs> and uh, based on those dates and, and how it jumps down, you can see the pattern where it's, it is sporadic. But, so it's not like here, 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 here. It's not a, there's not a pattern like that. But it looks like um, you can tell that they jump from like a couple different cities on the eastern seaboard to the Midwest, mm -hmm. and then they jump from the Midwest to either Texas or the West Coast. So. I'd like to chime in something real quick. Wait, you said. Sorry. <laughs> accent. <laughs> accent. Wait, you said uh, Sokum might not be there anymore? Oh, well, the town itself, certainly. But, I mean, it was. This map goes right through, uh, like, there, there's a big old black spot over, uh, 
where I believe Slocum to be. Well, as much as I despise Jimmy, I don't think he did anything like that happened this time. I'm just saying. I don't know if he has a choice on whether or not it would happen in his town. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he has a, has a choice. So, Mr. Prime Minister, he, so if, why did it happen let, in this town while we were here? If he let something happen to his town, or to our town, right. then I would have kicked the crap out of him. Right. I like the authority that you guys have <laughs> in your town. Are you guys kings? Yes. Okay. What does a king need an accountant for? Obviously, we have treasuries. Right, but who do you pay taxes to as king? Nobody. He keeps account of my treasury. <laughs> so he's a treasurer? No, he's an accountant. On that note, sure. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, you can. I'll turn to you. Hey, um, just real quick, when you guys get done talking, I need something off the printer. Hmm? Thank you. It just printed something. Oh. So continue. Right. By the way, that's, the that's Jonah that's speaking. Okay. I do know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I can tell from reading the dates, it seems like the nostril area near, you said Alabama? Yeah, the closest nostril section. The closest nostril section to Alabama would be the next closest location for the next murder. So, so somewhere but we in the, still uh, need to go to Los Angeles. Well, no, the closest Cass nostril is um, Oklahoma. Mm. It covers both uh, Oklahoma and Texas. I guess so kind of the border on it. So what we I can do—I feel like I trust the blind man more. We can uh, we can cut south to Slocum, and instead of going south to pick up the, uh, the Interstate 10, we can go straight straight west. Um, and that should take us right into the the nostril of the beast. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I'm familiar with that route. I yeah. would hope so. So the difference between the maps for the people at home, um, Quasi has a map with uh, all of the major roadways on it, and oh. Trevor is using um, Google Earth. So. <laughs> oh, sorry. I have an advantage. <laughs> Which is appropriate because... Quasi's character has been on these roads a lot more than Trevor's character has. So, I mean, I've been on the roads. I just <laughs> right. You've seen them. Yeah, <laughs> I read all the road so signs. So what we do? It's a day's drive down to Slocum, Alabama, anyway. So yep. that's a perfect, perfect stop. And then the next day, well, you do your business. You do your business over the night, and then the next day we. Uh, Pick up steaks and head, head to the nostril. Sounds good to me. Got to make sure that uh, Jimmy's being kept in line, John. Someone already grabbed it for me. Thanks. <laughs> you were busy. Terby. <laughs> I have a question that might not be completely relevant, but I don't know who to ask. Does anyone know if those pennies that were so important had any magic or mystical? Qualities about them. I, don't I know. did make an, ex an inspection. Of yeah, you, you was, from what you could tell, they were just really bright, <coughs> shiny pennies, <coughs> all with the same date on them, which was the date of the murder. Mm -hmm. What did from they look like see, again? The, the two that you looked Rather. at. Were they actual like Lincoln pennies? They were actual oh, bright, Lincoln. shiny pennies. What was mm -hmm. the date on them? Twenty nineteen. The two that he saw were the same day that the murder happened. Are those well, the same ones that I had? They don't date patterns, they just give a year. Yeah, that's what I meant. Mm. It, had, it had 2019 on it. They're the same ones that I picked up then, right? Yeah. they were All all the, pick, all the ones you picked up were nice, bright, and shiny. Mm. You didn't really look at the date. You can't really remember if, if you nice, saw any of the Nice, bright, dates, shiny, and new. But you um, do remember that they were bright and shiny. Gotcha. They were, they were uncirculated Lincoln pennies. Um, and as far as I could tell, they had no spiritual residue on them. No, that's different from magic, I think. But as far as what I can see, as far as what I can keep, as far as what I can feel, nothing. Spiritual residue, how the uh, good lord got made? I just figure it's like, like the goo from Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters? That was a movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I don't know this term, Ghostbusters. Do you know what movies are? I know what movies are. For motion pictures? Can you think of busting ghosts. You bust ghosts. Somebody has to. I don't, but somebody has to. Is this a new invention? No. No, it's a, it's a movie. A store meant for entertainment. It's a darn tootin' good time. But a lot of people have seen it, so people have a common language. G.O.D. didn't catch that. Mm. I'm sorry, what? I said it was a darn go tootin' good time. So how long have these Ghostbusters been around? It's not over, a documentary. Over 30 years. As, as a story. And only two movies have been made. What are you talking about? It is a documentary. <laughs> Ghosts are real. Rather. <laughs> Three movies. <laughs> uh, there was only two movies made. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm not, I'm not saying a thing. <laughs> well, I haven't heard of any others. <laughs> Darn tootin'. But uh, I've also been uh, living out of a tent for the last... 17 years, so what do I know? <laughs> so you guys do? Well, I have time to kill because my appointment's not till 2, so. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah, drink you tea and read. Okay. I'm just app. gonna go sit in the cabin of Gator and drink some beer. So we got two more not days. A lot of beer. Yeah, you got two more days, and you're waiting. I know that you're waiting for a call back from uh, the detective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you guys are all waiting for the Winged Fox to come back. Whatever her name was, I thought I had a blank. Um, Baudry? Well, Baudry. Yeah. Janice Baudry to come back. She Agent never Baudry. gave us a first name. Agent? Agent Baudry. I, I thought it was Beauregard. It was definitely not Beauregard. It wasn't Beauregard? It was definitely Baudry. not. Baudry. I've never met a female named Beauregard, so. Last name. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were asking about the first name. No. <laughs> first name, Agent. Last name, Bowden. No, Agent was a title because she got really offended when I called her Miss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I, no, I think we got nothing. So, we, so you guys are just ki no killing the time until you guys hear something back. Anyone doing anything other than just sitting there on the bus? No, well, I'm not sitting other. on the bus. As part of my ministry, drinking beer. Um, do I have, <laughs> do I have social media? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Why not? It's today. It's I'm going to. Twenty-nineteen people. I'm going to do some filming. Uh, make a, an appeal to help out with the cost of uh, the damaged bus. Actually, okay. yeah, I, track the trailer. I have a question. Am I your boxers? Always boxers. Am I your social media manager? Boxers. Do you have any <laughs> skill with social media? I mean. Of course. That would be a no. <laughs> Who doesn't? Me. No, I'm a, I'm actually, I'm probably more professional than that. He uses unless, unless you have uh, an actual skill. I'll show you my Instagram. Just Did me, you say something it's about just me patience? hunting. <laughs> me hunting and wielding like my, my bat just sitting in my truck. That's not a bad idea. Look Fancy here. pictures, but I leave the bus. not really what you're kind of looking for. <laughs> you leave the bus, where you go? You're um, going to go alone, or you're going to just get up and leave? You're going to tell people what you're doing? What? Come on. Well, he said something, and it gave me an idea. So I'm getting up, I'm closing my books, okay. putting down my tea, and I'm walking out of the okay. bus. Okay, so you guys see the blind man start closing his stuff, getting up. You also would have noticed that shortly before that, the preacher got up and walked out and started like pulling out his cell phone, and he's outside working on his Taking Instagram. selfies. Taking selfies and, and doing something on his phone. Mm-hmm. Where are you off to, man? I'm off to an exotic pet store. Okay. Or the closest to that I can find. I, uh... I'm intrigued. I'm gonna follow you. I'm looking for a bird. Capable of big flight. Wow. Angel! Where are you? <laughs> we need you. For what? We need an adult. <laughs> 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 because I'm too hey, blind to man. I'm an adult. Yeah. <laughs> you have no cell phone, so Correct. where are you going? And just in case we need to go immediately. Well, I mean, we've Walk got two days, him. don't we? Plans change. 
<laughs> if you're not here and we have to go, we go. And you are just left here in Atlanta. How are you going to go with a broken down truck? It's not broken. Or whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's broken, but it's not broken down. Like well, that's I why said, we had to wait two days. Like I said, plans change. And you are... You are... As soon as you walk out of our side, you have no idea where you are. Where are you going? Uh, I was going to look for like a pet store or something. I'm looking for a bird. What kind of bird? A big one. Capable of flying places. As well, those birds, birds usually are. Those letters, places. You know, As birds usually are. A like, homing pigeon. Well, yes, but less of a pigeon and more of like maybe a hawk. I have a burner no. phone. Give it to him. I have a cell phone him. and I'm going oh, with him. I don't okay. know what the is. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like yeah, an entourage right now. Have, have the group from stepping out of the bus at this point. <laughs> <laughs> to watch me try to find a bird. <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> I want to see. So this should be entertaining. All right, then. Wait, so I'll be the contact. Are you, going, a, are you going shopping for a bird? Yes, are I'm you? going shopping for a bird. But you don't even know where any bird stores are. That's correct, but... <laughs> I mean, how hard can it be to find a bird? Why do you wh- elaborate? Why, why, why are you looking for a bird? On that note, <laughs> Paul, everyone's standing we... outside at this point. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've lived here for a couple of years now. I'll show you where to go. I thought you had priors in New York. Yeah, I've lived here for a couple of years. Why do you think I lived here for a couple of years? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that meant prior engagements. Oh no. <laughs> are you one of those uh, stock a, swindlers? I, no, oh, I believe I it was because you said th- you did heroin. I used to, I used to do things for drugs, and uh, may have gotten caught a couple times, and I don't want to go back there because, you know. Oh, so are those like warrants then? Yeah, I mean maybe. Well, the good are news you ma- for you. Are you a former male <laughs> prostitute? <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, wow. I mean, New York's not touched. You well, know, do ish. you do things for things that you don't, you're not proud of? New York is a bad, New York, bad place. New York City. New York City. Which, which part of New, New York? York? Uh, it was. Uh, I, I don't know. I was I drugged out of my mind. I don't know where I lived. I lived in, like in a, in a bridge. Good recovery. In a bridge. <laughs> in you lived in a bridge. There was a bridge. There was like a little. But you lived in a bridge. Bridges are bridge. pretty nice. You lived in yeah, a... Believe it or not, you can do that. I know. Just I know. But well, I'm just, sure. uh, just clarifying. <laughs> if it, if it was in uh, southern New York, yeah, might have good news for you. Upstate, not really. <laughs> oh, you considering about, about who I was at the time, it would probably wasn't John. the bad. Who are you? you know, what are you talking about? He's on top of us listening to all this. I was yeah. a bum. Yes. A bum underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, I was. No, he, was, oh, he wasn't underneath. He was, was definitely I'm untouched. I'm not that anymore. <laughs> I decided to change. I changed mm-hmm. my life for he the wasn't, better. He wasn't underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. He was in the Brooklyn Bridge. I was there to stop goats from passing. So, Goats. Yeah. Whatever that means. How many goats? Three. Ah. So you were a troll? Yar. <laughs> That's a troll. I was on drugs. And I had no, I didn't know what I was doing. So where's the pet store? Let's go this way. <laughs> <laughs> I will use my enhanced hearing to try to hear birds squawking. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go ahead and roll. Seven. There's Ooh. all sorts of birds squawking in all sorts of distance. <laughs> I mean, you're in, you're in, you're in I Georgia. I got sixteen in total. You know, you're, you're in, there's one. pigeons. There's like, you know, there's all sorts of birds around there. I can fly for one. Yeah, I'm looking can. for falcons, hawks. Yeah, no, you don't hear a single eagles. falcon, hawk, or eagle in the greater Atlanta area with your roll. Actually, you do hear eagles, but they're not birds. I'm going to... Yeah, no, yeah you, you do hear like like some certain songs playing. Oh, those eagles. Bands. I was going <laughs> to hear <laughs> those fans. <laughs> yeah, no. So are you filming Swans. right now? Mm-hmm. Oh, Philadelphia. Yep. Wrong, yep. wrong, wrong yeah. place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just lean out the window while uh, they're leaving while you're filming and just yell out you. So they're idiots, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, crazy. Roll exceptional. You failed. Not a good sign. <laughs> it went under the table. Did it? Or you know, is it, it stuck in between? When it tray and it bounces out, that should be a critical okay. failure. Oh, right? <laughs> no, it, it rolled off. I cannot see. Oh, there it is. Pardon me. Of course. 
Oh, and I Quasi see. vanishes. <laughs> ah, we lost Quasi. And that's why he was rolling a perception roll to not vanish. You know, back when we didn't have the stream, the only person who usually ever went under the table. Yeah. Anyway, so. Uh, <laughs> was Daryl, oh, was I me. mean, um, I was the original under the table person. I Thirteen. Like. Thirteen. I don't even want to know, Ryan. I just <laughs> leave that one alone. What? Of why you were the original under the table? No, person. you guys made me go under the table. Don't. don't mind. You remember that? You remember that? Yeah, but back then we was uh, we, this was a, a Japanese sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as you're looking down, it's it's weird. Parts of your video, that's like you know, you hit cancel and it starts to play, just because you know that's what Facebook Live does. Um, it starts to play a little bit, so you can review it whether or not you want to keep it. And parts mm-hmm. of it is weird and pixelized. Uh huh. Like all of the damage to your bus. Mm-hmm. Is pixelized, so it looks like there's no damage. <sighs> there is some government agency. It's God. <laughs> <laughs> what a bastard. God doesn't want you to crowdfund your bus. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to recover? <clears throat> How am I supposed to recoup a damage to, to my, my transportation if you block and fill in the, the, the images of the damage? You're not. <laughs> <laughs> the voice comes from on top of your bus. <laughs> <laughs> you look up there and you see Dustin perched. Cat like ready to pounce. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you want me to get a spray bottle to get rid of that cat? Do I have a laser, <laughs> Do I have a laser pointer? High or low? I see if the preacher has a laser pointer. Oh, yes, you do, and it's in your pocket. <laughs> uh, I turn it on and like. And start putting the, the red dot around your feet. <laughs> Very amusing. I'm not a house cat. <laughs> Do I have a spray bottle in the in the Hi or low? Hi. Shit. <laughs> yes, you do. All right. Is it like a gun by chance? No. Oh, okay. It's not a squirt gun. It's not a squirt It'd gun. It'd be amazing not if a it was. <laughs> it is a spray bottle full of Windex. All right. Well, I'm just going to get it, get it <laughs> run out of the truck, run over to him, and just go, Bad kitty. Yeah. <laughs> Windex? <laughs> we Windex. <laughs> he just stares down at you and shakes his head. Please don't spray your cats with Windex. <laughs> <laughs> but as he I said, he's imagine, not a house cat, so we don't know. Uh, I square him. All right, roll for it. <laughs> <laughs> roll ahead. I, no, I was no, about no. to say roll for initiative with the laser pointer. I'm just saying. <laughs> See who... I finally got the dot. Anyway. Um, meanwhile, <laughs> the three of you are So, in a bridge, <laughs> as opposed to under one. Yes. Oh, that's very interesting. I, I, I usually just sleep in the dirt. Well, you know, I wanted shelter, and I found a door, and I, I walked in. I think. I, I still blur. A door that you walked into a bridge. Yeah. What a time Did you to have to No, leave. no. Although this does sound <laughs> odd to people at home, if you've ever been to the New York bridges, they actually do have doors. They're called access hatches for workers. Anyway, <laughs> they're also <laughs> great to underneath them. Yeah. <laughs> so I kind of have ulterior motives for going on this trip. Yes, of I'm course. I'm going to try to find the internet okay. to look up connections between Belial and backers and see if I can find anything. Between Belial and? And possible backers. Okay. Well, so again, we have the uh, hotspot okay. on the on the bus, and also I have a phone with unlimited data. You're not. You're not. You're not. You don't know what. Her. You're not <laughs> in her head. True. <laughs> Did you see her walk? She's got her phone out. Looks like she's my just going through. My burner phone that might yep. not have any <laughs> internet connection because it's a burner. I kill it's people. A, I'm just assuming. You're, I'm just assuming you're playing Snake or something. <laughs> you, you see her on her phone, and she's tapping it occasionally. Well, I'm terrible at that and game. Tapping it, and, and okay, you eventually do find it's internet. Normal. Go ahead and roll for your search. I just have bad rolls today. Nine. Um, yeah, um, 
as far as finding backers for Belial, um, the obvious... This is going to make me sound bad, so sorry for any uh, if I ruin any diplomatic relations between countries for this one. The obvious uh, ones... The obvious players come up. So you have Iran. Um, <laughs> you have, you know, other Russia. groups. You know, <laughs> Russia <Ruskies>. occasionally. Um, <laughs> Jimmy from Louisiana. You know, you have, you have uh, <laughs> ISIS, which is another, you know, terrorist organization because they usually share money back and forth. The CIA. The CIA. <laughs> <laughs> Backers. Because, Wait. you know, I mean, come on, let's be honest. Jimmy from Louisiana, not Jimmy from... Slocum? No. Slocum. Yeah, yeah. Slocum. No, no, no. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> no, no, no. Alabama? No. Jimmy from... Uh, Copperopolis? Copperopolis. What about the yeah, yeah. <laughs> wrong, wrong Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> we do not need to lose a sponsor over this, guys. Come on. Okay. Um, but I also need... I don't know. What Christine if Jimmy from Copperopolis to roll a wants roll. No. to be a backer for them? No, no. He does not want to be a backer for them. I'm sure of it. Eleven. Jimmy from Copperopolis does not want to back terrorists. You well, heard that here first, folks. Fictional. Well, uh, fictional terrorists. <laughs> oh, well, okay, maybe. We'll see. What did you roll? Eleven. Eleven. Okay, so while you're doing it, and you know, while you're trying to find the, the network, and then you find a network, and you get on it, you do notice um, you could have swore that the same car drove past you guys, like, three times. First time it went by, it was like no big deal. Second time it went by a little bit slower. Guys, get down. Third time, it's like it went by kind of at the same kind of slow speed. So how far away are and they? And then you see it like sort of turn the corner, like it's about to make another loop. Hey guys, we need to. Uh, are there ways down the street? Yes, dude. Get into the shadows or something. Do you have binocular vision? No. Then no. Why? Wow, what's going on? Someone is following us and. It's like they're going to kidnap us, and I've seen this before, and I don't like it. So I don't stop walking because I don't hear it. I'm walking even further. Hey, I'm going to throw a rock at your head. <laughs> Not too hard, though, because I don't want to Don't want to kill you. you out. <laughs> oh, rock went through its skull. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a six, oh, here it is. so okay. Okay. it could have... Yeah, so, so you, you hear a rock. I go prone. <laughs> a rock goes right by your head. <laughs> and I drop to the ground and uh, go prone. <laughs> <laughs> You pew pants. What what is uh, around us as far as what I can tell? Um, there's some storefronts. Um, higher low to see if there's any alleyways. Hi. Yes, there's some storefronts, and you guys are right in front of an alleyway, or at least he is, because he went prone right in front of an alleyway. Okay. Like right there at the like, if you were to like drive the into the alleyway, yeah. he's like right there on it, laying on lay, fully prone. <laughs> 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 you guys are in front of a storefront. He's in front of an alleyway. Rafa, why am I on the ground? Can I see you figuring? Get in the alleyway. And you too, Jack. Um, yes. I'm going to take, take, <laughs> take his arm and... So, okay. I don't get up. I roll into the alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very slowly. <laughs> we I, I think you should also yell times. out, We're being attacked! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that, that, that goes over great. Dude. Okay, take so... Take back and then call them up. Do you guys hide in the alleyway? Yeah, I'm going to try to find a place for us to hide. Okay. That'd be an eight. To hide? Yep. Okay, so you pull him, you pull uh, Jack behind the dumpster. <laughs> and I rolled an 18. Yeah. Still, so I'm going to help them. Oh, yeah, yeah, perfect. So, you, like, literally, it's like, you're like, okay, this is a great spot. You're crouching, you see Jack sort of standing there in the middle of the alleyway. <laughs> You grab him and pull him like behind the dumpster. Am I still still like a lamp. Yeah, you see him rolling over <laughs> towards you. You grab him and like pull him towards you as well. And so you got both of them behind the dumpster, and you see the car slowly go past, and then it backs up and starts turning to come down the alley. Shit, I'm sorry, guys. And it, um, from what you can tell from your angle, I'm not going to make you roll perceptual because you're being very noticeable about this, and you have that power that is kind of useful in this situation. Um, you can tell that, uh, that there's a Caucasian man behind the wheel wearing like a well slept in suit. Well slept in? Yes. Does he look familiar? Nope. He's got a little bit of scruff. He's got brown hair, very nondescript looking, other than his suit looks like he slept in it for a few days. And it's driving slowly down the alley. 
<laughs> I'm going to use object realization to prepare and see if I can use any objects to my okay. advantage. Got a dumpster. Wait, he's walking slowly? No. Driving. Driving. Okay, driving. Driving. Okay, driving. so slowly. I stand up and I walk towards the car. Oh, so much for stealth. Okay, uh, he runs your that object happens. realization. Or hold on. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, yeah. There's the dumpster. Um, there's actually um, there's a door right behind you guys. You could use that to possibly you know pick the lock or jimmy it to get into it. Um, there is also a fire escape just off up to your left. You guys can you can like throw people up at that to get them up and out. Or fly. Or fly them up to it. I okay. can probably park. Okay. What would you? <laughs> 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 Blinking, I getting out of the treehouse. Watch <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right now I'm just kind of being. I would. I was. Yeah. Sat down. Yeah. <laughs> so to speak. So, I'm waiting for okay, further so instruction. You see him get up and just step out into the alleyway. Well, he doesn't happening. really see him, but no. I'm, I'm, I was oh. What are you doing? <laughs> she sees you. You hear him get up and step out into the alleyway. And the car stops. And the door opens. You both hear a pistol talking. You see the guy get up. Get down on the ground! And I pull him and back. And I go prone. <laughs> 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 Roll pull him back. And <laughs> pull him back. <laughs> as soon as I hear the caulking, I'd pull him back and uh, start working on pushing the uh, dumpster out in front. Okay. Oh, am I still uh, prone 11. or did he catch me? Uh, 11. 11. So as you start to fall prone, you feel him grab your arm and yank you behind the dumpster. The dumpster sort of rolls out. Damn it! <laughs> Gone. That'd be you, hear, you hear the guy coming the, up towards uh, the dumpster. 14 for moving the dumpster in front. Yeah, no, it's like I said, it's moving out, and you hear, damn it, and he starts coming out towards you guys, and at this point, we need to roll initiatives. John, he goes to go prone and throws himself at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just one die? Yeah, one die, add it to your base initiative, and let's go ahead and start with... So, Bill Sander. 29. Send in Bills. Bill. Front or back? Jack. 25. Do you soil yourself? Front or back? Do I what now? Soil yourself. Amaya? Front oh. or back? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Amaya initiative? I don't think I've gone to the, the, uh, to the bathroom this entire, you know, campaign so far, so. Right. And you haven't gone to the bathroom, You've but you've gone to the bathroom. Times. Oh, no, I take that back. Yeah, I have gone to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you've you haven't gone, but you've times. gone. Okay, <laughs> so I need... Bill and Amaya to roll a d10 real quick to see who goes first. Both got 29? Yeah, uh, both I rolled got an 29. Eight. I rolled a 7. Okay, so okay. what do you do? You just got pulled back behind. You hear the guy coming out and cussing. Yeah. Uh, options here. Let's see. You're uh, being held by Jack. Jack's got your arm. He pulled you behind the, mm -hmm. you back into the doorway area and pushed the dumpster out. Is there like anything I could use as a, a weapon, like something I could swing, like a bat or something around me? High or low? Uh, low. Well, if he had a cane, yes, but no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the blind man has no cane, so no, unfortunately. There's nothing you can swing as a bat. You do look around, you see that there's a doorway and there's a fire escape. Okay. Uh, I crouch and try to hide behind the garbage can as best as I can. It's rolling away. Okay, as well, the dumpster's rolling away. I, I just swung it out, so yeah. it's a, a block between us and him. Basically. Yeah, but it's also in an alley, and so when you swung it out, it would start rolling towards where the car was. Okay, I was like, I don't know how gravity. wide this I don't know yeah. how wide this alley is. Yeah. Oh, it's rolling towards the car? Yeah, it's slowly. So I push it. Okay. Oh, okay. okay, roll to push it. Two die? Two die, add them together. Don't roll double ones. All right, 18. Oh, good. You push it. Um, you actually hear it hit the guy. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, damn it! And you hear the gun hit the ground and clatter. Okay. Wait. Your turn. Uh, can I use martial artist? I rank a 10. To do what? What would you like to do with your martial artist? To completely restrain him and ask what he's doing. Okay. So, yeah, so you're going to, like, get up behind him and restrain him? Like, do some flips, get... If I roll well enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, Maybe got, jump off of the dumpster. You've got a dumpster. 10 martial artist. Um, you need a 6 or better. And I also have gymnastics of 6. I rolled... 16? Yeah. Yeah, so you push the thing. You see her, like, as you're pushing it, you see her grab a hold of the top of it. And it hits the guy. You hear the gun clatter. You see her roll over the garbage of uh, the dumpster. 
and come down right behind the guy and you hear her say, what do you, what do you say exactly? As you put him in a full Nelson or whatever martial art told you want to put him in. <laughs> what are you doing here? What do you want? He's like, I'm... Are we still in initiative? Yeah, we're still in initiative. Hold on. I, and what do you do, Trevor? I find the gun. Okay. <laughs> Roll to find the gun. You said I heard it clatter. Yes, so. yes, you heard it clatter. No, I should have no, 19. Different. I no, should well. know exactly where it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, you, you, so you guys hear her do that, and she's like, what are you doing here? He's like, New York, detective, I need my gun. What are you doing here? Why are you trying to stop me? I'm trying to apprehend a fugitive. I don't know. It seems to me like you pulled a gun on us in an alleyway. At this point... This loaded, holy shit, she just dropped this. She can't seem to break her thing. Okay, I run. <laughs> <laughs> and Bill goes running. <laughs> there he goes! He's getting away! You're not chasing him. Can you describe the suspect to me? <laughs> <That's the point. laughs> just stop him! Let go of me! Detective David Boyer, New York PD, I'm gun- There's a warrant out for that man's arrest! I'm gonna have to see a warrant. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just let go of me. He's getting. Oh, I'm not even holding damn you. Damn it! <laughs> I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Give me my gun. <laughs> so I'm still holding the gun. Yes. <laughs> David, what? You're not there. Give me notes. You're not there. Sorry, sir. Boyer. Let them take their notes. I believe it was. So do you let him go? You uh, see Bill go running down. The- Are you gonna just keep running? I'm just gonna keep running. I don't really feel like letting someone go who just pulled a gun on us. I'm you know, he didn't, to twirl he didn't the pull gun. a gun on you, <laughs> and he didn't pull a gun on you. He pulled a gun on him. Let's uh, be honest. How athletic am I? Am I able to keep running, or am I gonna get exhausted soon? You're you're getting kind of winded. How are you? How are am you? Am, uh, like 30, you am to- I like thirty feet away? Twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't how, uh, even left the alley. <laughs> how wet are your pants right now? <laughs> <laughs> wet or greasy? Uh, 14. No, no, you're, you're pretty dry. <laughs> now, what about the back? I consider that a success. <laughs> He's dry. That's good. He's running as fast as he can, not used to uh, running. Running ish. He's running. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay. Maybe, maybe you can tell me something. What is the name of the man you are looking for? Bill Sender. Oh, see, you're you're mistaken. That let man, go of me. That man that you I'll are... arrest all of you guys. I let him go uh, before he says arrest. I'm uh, still holding the gun. Uh, give me my gun. Well, here's the thing. Uh, that man that you pulled your gun on is actually Agent Jeffrey Dahmer of the FBI. <laughs> let me see the credentials then. Here's mine. He holds up his... Agent Dahmer, I'm going to need your he badge. He puts it right in front of you and grabs his gun in your hand. I'm still holding yeah, on to it. I will contest this. Okay. What is your strength? Uh, my strength is a five and my agility is a seven. Okay. That is double fives uh, with an 11. So 21. Okay. Yep. You, you, he's got his hand on it and you just sort of rip it. He's like, don't make me arrest you. I don't even know how to unload this thing. <laughs> I assume I just pull this trigger. I take but it. <laughs> <laughs> completely take it apart. <laughs> you feel oh, someone else works. grab the gun. Uh, it wasn't him, though. <laughs> no, it wasn't him. <laughs> and she dismantles it. Do you hand it back to him, or you just drop it on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> drop it on the ground. Baby, the piece is falling. <laughs> Keep the firing oh, pin. There's her gun. Uh, that being said, Agent Dahmer, could uh, you show this man your credential? Credential? Uh, yeah, I mean, you're 25 feet away. Okay, so I stop and I turn around and uh, I I hide like behind the, the <coughs> bin and I throw you my, my credentials. <laughs> 13 to notice. Yeah, you hear the credentials... Uh, Flapping. <laughs> you hear, you hear the, the soft sound of, of leather against leather, and then the sound of leather hitting the ground near your feet. 
By near your feet, I mean like 15 feet away. Near-ish. Pa- past you. <laughs> if it was a grenade, they'd that. be in trouble. Thank you. And then hand them to the doctor. <sighs> Fine. See, it's Sorry. Not your guy. Sorry. He's just a little skittish. He's new to the job. We have him on loan. <laughs> <laughs> You are the spitting image of Bill Sender. He's wanted for many, 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 many bad things. I'm not. I'm trying not to kind of look at him because you know. In, in like, New York, he, he must be a handsome fellow. We tracked him here. I've been trying to find him. I thought I'd finally found him. Uh, no, unfortunately, there's a whole lot of a ruckus going on, and the FBI needed this gent here, Agent Dahmer, and uh, we asked if we could borrow him, and they agreed. Hmm. Okay, and he bends over, he squats down and starts picking up the pieces of his gun and putting it back together. Um, roll a perception, Amaya. Six. Okay. Um, at first, you know, it didn't, you know, him putting it back together didn't seem to be unusual until as he's doing it, he's looking at you, keeping eye contact with the three of you and not paying attention to anything he's doing with the gun. And he's putting it together a little bit faster than you took it apart. <laughs> Is he doing it correctly? <laughs> yeah, perfectly. I'm gonna pull Andy my knife. even Andy even puts as he's assemb- reassembling it, he puts a bullet in the chamber while he's reassembling it. <laughs> I'm gonna have a knife and have it close to his throat, but he's not even gonna see if I roll a stealth on that. Yeah. Can I do that? Go ahead. No, yeah, detective. Uh, you nice. said you've been. Um, so, so you think he may have saw you, so you'd sort of keep it close to you, so you, yeah. What? No, Detective, you said, uh, you've been, how long have you been here, um, in Georgia? been in Georgia for about three months. Where can I find a falcon or a hawk? <laughs> I don't know. I'm You're a detective. I'm not looking for a falcon or a hawk. I'm looking for Bill Sender. Well, don't you need an eye in the sky? Scoy? I need an eye in the sky. I'll contact local PD and ask for use of their helicopters. But they're a little stretched thin with the murder thing that was happening, so I can't use their facilities. That's exactly what we're working on. <sighs> yeah. Well, hey, why don't you guys help me find Bill Sender, and I'll help you out with your little murder investigation. Sure, could you describe him for me? Yeah, he looks just like that guy. Great. What does he look like? <laughs> 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 Listen, I don't need any of this flack. I'm just, I'm just oh, no, trying no, to get so, this Oh no, no, I'm sorry. Done. I should I should probably let you know I'm blind. Right. Oh. You are, aren't you? Hmm. Amaya gets another perception roll. So I could really use help in finding a bird. Seven. Okay. So when he looks and he does the double take, you, you notice his eyes get a little bit harder looking. Like most assassins that you've trained, or that you that your mother had told you about in training, the whole steely-eyed look of an assassin. Oh, he doesn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you after, really? I told you, Bill right. Sender, as he puts his gun away. Right. I'm not putting my knife away. <laughs> well, Mister, sorry, what was your name? Detective David Boyer. Detective. David Boyer, huh? Well, we'll keep an eye out for him. Uh, try not to confuse a mirror for him, which is... <laughs> you know, if, if I accidentally shoot first, I'm sorry. You should be, because that's illegal. Especially if you have a warrant. There are warrants out for his arrest. Yes, arrest, not murder. Well, you know, I have to defend myself, don't I? Uh, you only need to defend yourself if there's an actual clear and present threat. What is he threat. wanted for, anyway? Several... Crimes committed in the greater New York area. Do you have reason so to believe that he'd be armed and dangerous? Oh, yes. He's extremely armed and dangerous. And dangerous? He sounds like a bloody drug addict. And how would you know that? Phil Sunder is a stupid man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was a drug addict, wanted for three murders in uh, association with the robbery. What? <clears throat> wow. <laughs> that is crazy. Well... I've never heard of any bill sender. Well, am I glad I'm not there? <laughs> um, 
Like I said, I'm looking for a bird. Here he hands each of you his business card. If you see him or get any information about him, give me a call. Sir, have I showed you my credentials already? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Dahmer. Agent Dahmer. Yes, Agent Dahmer. He worked hard for that title. What's his business card say? It, his business card is an authentic New York PD. Does it have any name? It has Detective David Boyer. It lists That's a phone right. number. It's a New York phone number. Does it what feel precinct? legit? Sorry, what's the phone number? Uh, what precinct? Uh, fourth precinct. <laughs> <laughs> Who's his superior? <laughs> it does not say that on his. He's, a, he's, a, What's his private, rank? he's detective. a private detective. <laughs> so he's a dick, a private dick. Oh no, he's an actual New York Police Department. I was wrong. What he said. Oh, anyway, bad. not a private dick. No, he's just a dick then. Dick Dave. Can well, I use eidetic memory to see if I can recognize anything about him? See if it applies to. You can use your identity memory to make a mental map of him, so that if you see anyone else that looks like him later... Fifteen. Okay. Yeah, you, you take a good gauge of his mannerisms, how he's walking, how he's moving, all of that, so that if you see him in another outfit or in disguise or something, you might, you'd have a better chance of seeing him. You know, I think, I think you're a little trigger-happy there, friend, and I think what might be a little bit easier for <coughs> you... You tell that to the families of the people he killed, Okay. Just if I would you see to. him, if you see him, yep. I'll or keep my hear eyes him, him, or find him, just call. Okay. I was just gonna say maybe you uh, make a stealthier attempt, so you're like, oh hey. I saw how's the it subject. Going, I attempted to apprehend What's him. Your name? I said, uh, you did not. Freeze. You did not. And yeah, you did say that. And I pulled the gun and said freeze. And then he started running. That's because our agent friend here is a. I, I, I must a admit, gun pulled he's, on them. they're gonna run. He's no, a usually bit of a they coward. stop. We've been attacked recently. And our agent friend here, Agent Dahmer, is a little bit of a coward. I but saw he's that. He's not trained for, rather the. Uh, kind of hurtful. The rough and tumble. True. <laughs> kind of hurtful. He's more of a. Um, yes, I, I get it. Man. Pencil pusher. Got it. If you guys just just let me know, and if there's if you guys need me to look into anything for you, you've got my number, okay? Thank you. And he gotcha. turns and walks off, he goes to his car, gets in, closes, slams the door, slams the door again, slams what? the door a third time, and it finally stays closed. <laughs> and he uh, backs up and leaves the alley. Teamwork, bitch. <laughs> 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 Uh, you almost got yourself shot in the back of the head. <laughs> also, now in the front of the head. Just to make the record straight, <laughs> I have no idea what murders he's talking about, and or why I'm even associated with those. I don't know either. I do know that you fucking acted like a bloody idiot. I was preserving my life. That was preserving your life. <laughs> yes, I was running from the danger, meaning I saved my life. <laughs> Can you outrun a bullet? Because it looked like you got winded. Well, it sounded like you got winded about <laughs> ten paces back. Yeah, but I was further from the gun, so... Considering he put that gun back together so fast, it was faster than I took it apart. While all this was going on, I think he he's trying to call James again. With this gun, no matter how distant. I gotta make a phone call. I gotta call my, my contact at the agency and figure out what murders they're talking about because this is not me. I'll admit I'm a drug addict. I was a drug addict. Well, okay, it's I'll, a good thing you're no longer Bill Sender. Uh, I don't know if I want to be Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Bill Dahmer. And on that yeah, note, an back to the other group. <laughs> okay, so you make a phone call it goes to voicemail again. Straight to voicemail does not even... No ringing. You two, what are you doing? Uh, I'm hosting up uh, an appeal for for donations to help with uh, so you try the mechanical problems. You I'm trying not gonna to do it again? No, I'm not going to take pictures. Okay. But um, just to just tweet. Just uh, <laughs> just film myself a um, video. Okay. Uh, without actually are you showing the bugs. Are you going to review the video before you post it? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Roll perception. 
That's uh, uh, 13. Okay. So, so you record it. It's, it sounds really great. It's a moving speech. You're very persuasive when you're, mm. I mean, you're watching him do it, and it's amazing. He goes to, I'm just clapping. He, he goes to play it again, and it's, um, at first it starts out, you know, please, followers and friends, please help us in a tight spot. We want to kill your children. And your face turns into a Belial symbol. Do I hear oh, this? Oh, no, it's personal. Yeah. <laughs> Just and the Belial I, skull part, not the not And the I'm hearing bones. this, too, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can hear I, it coming from his phone. What? We are going to murder Flip everybody. off. And that next to him. You it what? just basically repeats that in similar sort of messaging. Oh, now this... This is annoying. Preacher, why would you say something like that? He didn't. He didn't. Somebody was messing with us. And this is why you're not uh, the social media person. Because well, nobody you would have just sent this without uh, reviewing it. <laughs> oh. I have dialed this number so many times I've started to memorize it. Can you send that message to this number? And He rattles off a phone number to you. I'd rather not broadcast it unless it uh, actually make its way onto the internet. No, However, it's going to. Huh? It's going to my friend. How about this? <laughs> I take out the, the little SIM card. Just pick it up and not. Uh, I need that back, by the way. No problem. Okay. Do you delete the video off your phone? Um, yeah. I'm assuming you save it to your SIM card, you give him the SIM card, but then you delete it off the phone. Yes. Okay. So he sends it off and turns it into a SIM card. Okay. Because, because I believe now that my phone is compromised. Mm. Oh, it's too bad. I like this phone. Shall I oh. destroy it for you? In what manner? It'll never work again. I can do that. Better be a good Christian way. <laughs> I'll uh, throw it on the floor and I'll bring out my shotgun. I'll hand it over. Oh, let's see. This should be a Verizon, a Sprint store, or a Best Buy somewhere around here. Oh, yeah. You can, you can catch an Uber to one plug, of those. Plug, plug, plug. <laughs> you can catch an Uber to the local tech store. Okay. What do you do with the phone? Perch on a tree. And you start in practice. Okay, so instead of Uber, I mean a taxi cab, because obviously you don't have a phone to summon an Uber. That was my mistake. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to let him know. Hey, you don't need a taxi. Just hop in the truck. Mm. It needs to stay in place in uh, case the, the replacement uh, uh, people come and uh, want to okay. uh, fix up those uh, dented panels. All right. Okay, um, roll to do target practice on the phone. So do you, you set it in the tree or are you throwing it in the air and doing the, the whole Robin Hood thing? I'm going to set it in the tree. Okay. You're doing this in the middle of a city? What sort of moron are you? I'm going to call cops to you. The kitty cat. At least he's not running oh, wait a from minute. a gun. He's got a... He's, he's doing this with bow and arrow. Yeah, bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't... in the tree and he goes, I don't... I don't... I don't hear it then. At least he's not running from a gun. <laughs> 18. <laughs> Down stopping, in an alleyway. Stopping 10 feet later. 36. 25. Or he got 15, I mean. He's just gone prone. <laughs> 36 yeah beautiful shot right through it as it does the phone literally explodes and you hear a bang I'm getting a new phone <laughs> thank you thank you yeah it shouldn't have done that <laughs> you know it shouldn't have done that I'm letting you know or at least as far as your character knows, it shouldn't have done that. It's not supposed to explode like that, is it? What are you asking me for? I'm off on a taxi cab. <laughs> <and getting this laughs> He's gone. You, you come back. It's not supposed to have... Oh. Huh. You see him in his semi. I don't even bother. The rig. 
Yeah, I'm just going to look anywhere. over and see him out there and just roll up my window. What's not supposed <laughs> to do what? <laughs> Are we back yet? Yeah, so you guys, oh, did you guys head back then? No, I wanted to find yeah. a, a bird. Well, I actually just wanted to do something too real quick. Okay. I just wanted to hop on the radio and just say, hey, so uh, we're about to cross some state lines. I just wanted to make sure that from Georgia to Alabama, there isn't uh, any hiccups along the way. So you're just getting a, a report. So how far are you from the state line there, uh, uh Atlanta, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're in about Atlanta, Georgia, and be heading to Slocum. No, everything looks fine. No no traffic stops, no no hidden police. Yeah. The nothing are gone. Nothing weird out of the ordinary. Not that I can see. I'm on I'm on the road heading southbound myself. Gotcha. Cool. Thank you Just very much. Cleared the state line like two minutes ago. Actually not cool. Darn tootin', thank you very much. Have a great day there, Gator. You too. What was your name again? <laughs> the Aluminum Express. <laughs> All right. Look forward to seeing you on the road. <laughs> <laughs> the Aluminum Express. I'm going to write that yeah. down just to yeah. make sure I can remember. Please do. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. Yeah, he'll never remember it. <laughs> Did you write it down? Actually, if anything, Wait, that is something you would probably remember. Yeah. <laughs> you should probably write that down. You should so, probably write that down, John. I'm Trust gonna me. find myself a, a nice phone with uh, top level security okay. features. Okay, so you're on the way to find your phone. Mm -hmm. Hold on, back to the other group. What are you guys doing? I'm still looking for a pet store. Okay. I'm still looking for a pet store. And I get distracted thinking, and I ask Jack, do you think those New York murders were maybe tied to Belial? Was New York on your map thing? Well, uh, there was, pull uh, this up via my phone. There was years. some in New York, but New York City they were, was uh, right there, and uh, some black dots. Kind right of there. in the southern area, but not in the the like main cities of New York. I don't know which boroughs they'd be, but it's no, no, no. New, New York, York City, City has specific black funny. dots. Well, there's a, there's some minor differences between two. Just say that there I were some. Right. Yes, there are I'm some, there. Trevor. There are. There some. are? Okay, yes. Because for me, New York. Yes, I know. Is and I'm asking sorry. the game master, were they in the area that Bill Sender was in? Uh, well, they would be in New York City proper, so yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna file that away for later. Okay. So is all of Long Island just a black line then? No. No, not all of black. Not all of Long Island. We'll all. Oh, <coughs> okay. You'll, you'll get an updated map as soon as gotcha. we figure that out. All right, Jack, the pet store's right here. I'm going to run next door and get a coffee. i got to make a phone call. Yeah, yeah no story. worries. All right. Okay, so, Christine, do you go with oh, Jack or do you go with Oh, can you give me a, a cup of tea Bill? as well? <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, okay. uh, For some reason. Thank you, thank you. What'd like, you actual oh. tea, though. She I wants to see, see the pets, pets for some oh, reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> did you think I said something profane? No, I just didn't hear what you said. We were hoping you had. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yeah, could you get me, um, just like a, like a, a, like an Earl Grey or something with a little bit of milk and uh, a little bit of sugar. Sir, what do you want? Spicy chicken too. Awesome. Neat. Okay. Okay, so you guys go into the pet store. Um, the first thing you realize is it's a like a small pet store. There's like cats, puppies, kittens, cats. goldfish, lunch, a um, couple exotic fish. Some alphas, some betas, some Piranha. parakeets, um, and one parrot, and that's about it. A parrot? Yeah. Oh, that's a good scene, I bird. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> How much is it? The parrot? Uh, going right for the parrot is... But I do want to have a conversation with whoever the seller is. $130 for the parrot. Really? Yep. That's cheap for the parrot. Yeah. Pretty cheap for a parrot. It's like yeah, what missing a wing. It's it's just it's, it's, it's like, this is, it's like a really small pet store, little mom and pop place, not a big. Hello, friend. Oh hi. There's a little girl, <coughs> like maybe fourteen ish, behind the counter. Oh hello, lassie. Um, I'm looking for a bird. Yeah, we got we got parakeets. We got parrot. What can you tell me about how strong a flyer's parrots are? Oh, not at all. His wings are clipped. All of our birds' wings are clipped. They're indoor birds. They're cage birds. 
Do you know where I might be able to find, like a, like a hunting bird? She looks at. You don't hear her say anything, Christine. You see her, the girl looking at him like he's an alien. He's from the carnival. Oh, that explains it. Yeah, no, I don't know. Bless his heart. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. What about uh, a messenger bird? Like a pigeon? <laughs> right, but think multi-states. Like a homing pigeon. So you don't want the ones outside, I reckon. Correct. I, I want a kind of a bird that I could... Um, you know, they take lots of training. correspondence from... From wherever I might be to other states. Yeah, it sounds like a home and pigeon. You might want to go to one of the bigger stores downtown. Or, oh, there's a really good one in Alpharetta, Georgia. It's not that far away. Um, just like about 50 or 60 miles. Would I, any of those that you just mentioned have like a falcon? Bless your heart, sugar. No, I don't think so. Do Georgians not hunt? Why am oh, I we hunt. You? We <laughs> hunt all the time. With shotgun and dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a Renaissance fair anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> High or low? <laughs> you know, I, there is one coming up in about a week or two. Yeah, I'm planning on going. I've got this really nice dress that I made. And I've like been practicing my sword fighting. Are you any good? No, not yet. Keep working on it. I almost stabbed out the eye of my instructor, though. It was kind of funny. I tripped That's pretty awesome. and the sword almost hit him in the eye. It was great. Mm -hmm. Aww. Just wait till you can do that on purpose. Yeah, I'm hoping one of these days. I mean, he wasn't wearing his mask because he wasn't expecting me to be walking towards him with a sword. But, you know, things happen. <laughs> now I'm glad I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for your, um, your time. Do you still want to see an eye bird? Is he blind? Yeah. Oh, bless his heart. <laughs> <laughs> Metagaming, please get a parrot that will talk throughout the entire game. Jeremy Jeffers, Jeremy Jeffers. Imagine all the things John will have to say. <laughs> now, if people want to spend bits. <laughs> Okay, folks at home. On a, on a parrot. <laughs> on a talking parrot. If you want to let Trevor's character get a talking parrot, if you want to, um, 100 bits, and his character can get a talking parrot. Rafa? <laughs> How many left right now? I got 90. I got oh, 90 bits. 10 bits shy. Yes. So close. We just need so to close. fundraise an extra 10. <laughs> <laughs> for for one cent, <laughs> Kafa will donate the rest of his. Wait, I thought it was a million dollars. I can't even put ninety cents in there. I have to do either one or a hundred. Yeah, you can't even do ninety. Oh, you can I do it dollar, ninety man. times. <laughs> yeah, you could hit one ninety times. Oh, oh, the channel seems silent on the Okay, time. yeah. So so uh, we we'll uh, so oh, yeah. while we're waiting for the channel to respond, we'll give them some time because of delays. Meanwhile, Rafa. Yeah. So I. Bill um, goes across the. Sorry, Jeffrey Dahmer goes across the street <laughs> to make his phone call. Agent Dahmer. Agent Dahmer. Sorry. I, I Agent call, Jeffrey Bill Dahmer. I call uh, uh, Winfield as I walk into the coffee shop and get mine. Here, low. Low. Agent Winfield, how can I help you? Uh, hey, buddy. How's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good. So I was stopped in the, in the, uh, in an alley. Uh, not like I used to be stopped in the alley. That was a different story. Anyway, um, so. He used to get stopped in alleys? Yeah. <laughs> uh, back in New York. Uh, you read my file, right? 
Yeah, was, sure. Was there anything about any murders in there? I didn't see any murders in Jeffrey Bill Dahmer's file. Oh. <laughs> Somebody Ray was the one that told you he'd write your file. Uh, not, right. not, uh, not, Winfield. not Winfield. Okay, uh, well. Mm. Oops. Huh. Look at my alter ego, Bill Sender. Yeah. <laughs> so I was talking to somebody that I looked like this guy named Bill Sender. Really handsome oh. Bill there. Uh, he said he was uh, convicted, of, or I mean, he was wanted for two murders in New York. Could you look into that? Um. Yeah, yeah hold on, hold on. Let me, uh, hey, Gray. Bill Sender, have you heard of the guy? Oh, you have his file. Oh, perfect. Let me take a look at that. No questioning as to why he has his file readily on hand. I mean, they only hired me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um, all I see is a, a couple indecent exposures, uh, five public nuisances, and one threat to hit a postal worker with a wrench if he walked into, if he helped the goat cross the bridge. Um, <laughs> but that's, that's all I see. Yeah, so the goat's real. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, uh, surprise, surprise, I'm Bill Sunder. Uh, can't I thought you were, hold, hold on. Okay. Gray, did you know he's not, what did you do? Oh. We're talking with, okay. yeah, so. Mr. Sender. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you uh, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so th this detective. Oh, I'm sorry. Was the detective there? Uh, it was Dave <laughs> Bauer. Boy Boyer. Detective Boyer. Boy Dave Boy Boyer. Uh, Jack Bauer. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he, he said he's from New York and he's uh, looking for me for some murder uh, charges. Hold, hold on. Just, just okay. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Gray, here. Need my phone back when you're done. <laughs> Hi, Bill. I don't know what I'm more scared of right now. <laughs> you or the detective that tried to kill me. Tell me about this detective. Well, he, uh, we were walking to a pet store because we needed to get a bird. And uh, we walked into... Is this related to the case? Getting the bird. I haven't figured that out yet. Okay. Um, so we uh, wow. uh, we, were, we were we were followed, and then this guy comes out and he says freeze, and he pulls out a gun, which hey, that's normal. I'm used to that. And uh, you know, uh, he says that he was there for Bill Sender. I showed him my credentials, which says Jeffrey Bill Sender. I'm sorry, no. Jeffrey. No. <laughs> Jeffrey they Bill shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, he said that he, that he was looking for Bill Sender, Crazy. and uh, apparently there's two charges of murder for him in New York. Yeah, not that I've seen your file. No. Okay. Because that. Uh, could you look up uh, this this guy? Um, what was his name again? What's his name again? David Detective Boyer. David Boyer. <laughs> Detective, they're not even with you. You might want to write this and down. And I have forgetful. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> But you have his. Well, yeah, yeah so let, me, let me let me look him up once. Yeah, second. you actually yeah, have yeah. his business card, goddammit. Yeah, you have <laughs> his business card. I didn't remember that. I had to okay. write down the name. Okay. Um. Yeah. No. He is a. Um, hmm. He is a detective for the New York Police Department, and according to what I can find, he's been on vacation for a while. Intriguing. Okay. That's neat. That's fun. That's cool. On uh, some sort of mental leave. That's neat. That's fun. That's cool. All right. Uh, well, if you could kind of maybe ear to the ground, see if you could hear anything, see anything, find some info, protect me, maybe that'd be cool. Bill, you asking Gray to do this? You're not there. Okay. You're not Are there. You <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> <laughs> You're not there. Committing a side. No, he, get, he gets out of his taxi, and the, the <laughs> cell phone the cell store is right next to that store. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right when he gets out of the taxi. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Cell store, where um, Rafa is. I can pet keep shop. an eye out well, they for have, uh, him. I have cell store did you see him? Starbucks. Yeah. yeah, I did. Star monks. He looks like, I don't think we described him. Okay, yeah, I did. Uh, brown hair, white brown guy hair, with brown hair, brown eyes. Oh, yeah, he looks suit. very, like, in, like he's been in his suit for a couple days looking for uh, 
<clears throat> Bill Sender, apparently. Okay. So. Yeah. So I'll I'll put in a couple calls and see if I can find get his whereabouts and bring him in for questioning. Okay. Do you want to question him? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Very well. I'll take care of it. Now, evidently, I have to brief Special Agent Winfield. Hey, Gray. Uh, you. Gray. Yes. Gray. Yes. You're the, you're the real hero. Don't tell anyone else in the force I didn't or in the group know. what you are, who you are. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Agent Dahmer. <laughs> Is Gray the meat shield? Yes, yeah. Gray was the meat shield. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that quasi made freak out. Clip. Yeah, the quasi made freak out. Right, no, no, no. I just, I, I was like. Please don't freak out. Who is this voice? <laughs> you know what I just realized? But I had that entire conversation waiting in line at the coffee shop. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. So everybody is in line. <laughs> you an idiot. He's standing at the counter. Then again, <laughs> then again, <laughs> you then again by your neck. People walk by. Sorry, I'll have a uh, uh, sweet tea and a, and a, and a coffee. <laughs> Actually, I I honestly think that when you say. When you say that your name was Agent Jeffrey Dahmer on the phone, people are just going to run out of the I'm just saying. No, this is Atlanta. Some people might want an autograph. <laughs> right? <laughs> our, our, our viewers in Atlanta, we're not saying you're stupid. Just, you know. Okay. You get to the phone store. You find a phone that's, you know, not too overly priced, but it's got all the bells and whistles that you're looking for. Well... Back in the day, they used to have a Motorola model, the I-2000, which had satellite capability. No longer around, sadly enough, because it was a brick. But right. one of the most important features was it was a frequency hopper. Mm, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, I remember that phone. It was nice. Yeah. So Almost as good as those uh, those ones from Sprint that had like the, the talk, or Nextel that had the walking talkies. Where are you it, at? Those were pretty good. It Boost was mobile. one of those phones. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. it, had, it had pushed it off. That's why it's okay. a frequency hopper. Well, no, I'm, there was a, anyway. No, but it, yeah, it was a push to talk. Okay. A hopper. Um, anyways, I want something that has frequency hopping and, and then all of the Higher low to see if you actually find something with all the specific requirements. Hi, and I am lucky. Yeah, yes, yes you do. Um, awesome. It's not the same model as when you had. Of course There's a little not. less bells, but a little more whistles. Mm -hmm. So, you know, balances out. All right. Well, this will be fine. Uh, I'll Can charge it. Okay. Actually, no. I will pay for it in cash. Okay. You pay for it in cash. And uh, just real quick before we go to break. What do you guys do? Anything special? Your character's just sitting there waiting. And waiting? He's investigating the explosion. Okay, that shouldn't yeah. happen. Okay, so uh, roll uh, an investigation roll. Somebody put a bomb in my phone. But how? In 24. In Does what? your character have any mechanical construction at all? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Build only. Okay. Um, well, so what you see is somehow your arrow hit an area of the phone where it looked like internally the wires had heated up and fused across where they shouldn't have been on the motherboard. But it doesn't look, I mean, from what you can tell, you're not really familiar with them. It doesn't look like someone opened the phone and did it. It's like the phone heated up in a weird way and it, the wires melt and cross. And so when your arrow connected with that, it exploded. Okay. Turn the battery essentially into a bomb. How big of a scorch mark on the tree was there? Oh, it's like blew a chunk of the tree out. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to roll back down my window. <laughs> now, being hard of hearing, I'm still imagining I probably would have heard yeah, it. Yeah, you would have heard it. Okay. You heard the boom. I'm just going to lean out and just say, what the hell are you doing out there? Don't worry about it. You're making explosions, obviously. As there's still smoke in the air. <laughs> you blew a big chunk out of the freaking tree right over there. What the heck? I shot a phone. You blew it up? Yes. Okay. 
<laughs> Roll back up the window. <laughs> and with that, we're going to go to break. So please bear with us while we're on break. I appreciate that. And we will look through. Um, we'll look through the comments while we're on break. So appreciate it, guys. And uh, see you in a few. Bye. Ready?
Welcome back. Appreciate you guys bearing Hi. with us while we went on break. Um, okay, so we're going to pick back up with uh, Jonah. You said you wanted to do something else. Uh, so as I said, it's just going to be something uh, simple, quick. I'm just going to get out of the truck and uh, go check the engine, make sure everything is working properly before we take off. Okay. So you're just going to you know, yeah, do it once over on your truck. Tinker a little okay. bit, make sure everything's good. I'll yeah, look over fine. his shoulder while he's doing it. Okay. Yeah, he, he's checking the oil. And and I'm going to explain. Now, this little doohickey right here, this is called a stick. I'm going to pull out a, a belt. And pull on the belt, not pull out the belt, hopefully. No, because. I'm going to pull on the belt. Looks like a belt to me. No, it's a stick. Uh, and this one right here, that's the uh, block. And I'm going to just unscrew a cap and pull that out. This is a block. That looks like a cap to me. Okay. So, <laughs> perfect. Um, meanwhile, everyone else, let's let's jump to... Uh, so, Quasi, you get your phone. What do you do after that? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh... I uh, put it in my SIM card. Okay. So uh, hopefully I've got all my contacts and stuff. Yeah, it, it loads right up. Mm -hmm. Change all my passwords. Okay. Um. <laughs> and go home, go back. Okay. Or actually, I'll, I'll, I'll call up uh, uh, Maya's burner phone. Okay. So you guys are standing in the shop. Just got done finding out that there are, you know, that there are birds don't fly and she gave you the the uh, rundown of places you might be able to buy other birds that maybe do fly and uh, your phone rings beep, hey beep. hey uh, uh, Amaya uh, where did you get this number this is uh, this is Barnabas uh, I've had to replace my phone so I'm not sure if uh, did I keep the number no you had to get a new number so this is my new number Okay. Uh, how are things going uh, with the shopping trip? Uh, not exactly sure what Jack is doing. I Nobody's sure, sure of what Jack is doing. Why he even wants a bird. Oh. Right now it's just funny. <laughs> alright, so, um, alright, so nobody's arrested you, nobody's murdered you, uh, nobody's kidnapped you, good. I'll let well, you go then. I haven't Team Bill Sender in a while. And right about then, Bill comes walking in with a cough with two cups <coughs> in his hand. All right. So you said you wanted coffee. Now. Yes, please. There you go. You said you wanted tea. Here you go. I take a sip of the tea. It's not hot. It, it is very iced sweet, tea. and it's iced. <laughs> it's very sweet, and it's iced. Is there is a receptacle it? nearby? Uh, you're holding one. Yeah, do you need to throw something away? Yeah, this Sugar? is terrible. Okay. Uh, wait. I will take that. Really? That's rude. <laughs> it's not tea. This is tea. It looked like tea. Yum. That is sugar. You said you wanted tea. I got you sweet tea. I said milk with a little bit of sugar. I just don't remember any of that. And I, I just remember tea. So you're hearing this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyways, um, how, how old is this uh, bird here? Which bird? The parrot. Oh, um, the parrot is uh, about a year old. So he's still like that big. Yeah. Um, do you, do you talk, Mr. Parrot? Miss Parrot? Hello. Hello. Fuck you, fuck you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> no, it's funny. It's cute. Alright. <laughs> What's this all? <laughs> I believe she said heart. You don't have the greatest memories. <coughs> it's it's young. Well, so my, are we, are we going to have a pirate? We might. Parrot. Pirate. Okay. <laughs> Depending on it. who's talking. My little cat might want a companion. <laughs> or some dinner. <laughs> no, that won't happen. 
Mm-hmm. Hey, Jack. If she develops a sudden accident. Did you want a pro- Did you want a bird? I, 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 was, I was looking for a bird, but apparently this one doesn't fly. But did you want a bird? Well, I don't fly. Yes. Is it a land bird? How much is this? A uh, hundred and thirty dollars. I think I have that. Okay, I'd be more than happy to sell it to you. Yeah, box it up. Give it to him. Box up a. Why um, would you box well, up a bird? I could, I could put it in a in a little cage. That's another forty dollars. How about we don't pay that forty dollars? Just put it right on his shoulder. Okay, sure we B- can do that. Before we go to putting it on my on my person, I mean, the wings are clipped, so it won't let's, fly. Let's yeah, just see if. But it might hop away. You might want to. Let's just see if cage. it even likes me. <laughs> I just I just <laughs> stick out my arm. It's it's in a cage, sir. Well, can you open the cage? Uh, sure, please. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, Roller yes. Driver. Uh, hi. <laughs> so my she opens the cage, she takes the parrot out, puts it on Jack your arm. Jack is mine. A, a it sort of like goes back and forth, wings. claws yeah. your arm a little bit. It'll be interesting. I, I well, raise up my other hand to try to see where its body might be. It might be. Power, but, um, does, does it let me go to touch it? Hi. Yeah, yeah it, it lets you touch it. I can, I, I can, I can use She's awesome. clipped, clipped wings. She? Yeah. You can what? He said he can heal the clipped wings. Fantastic. I didn't know that's possible. So, you, so you want this bird? Uh, yes. Um, thank you very much. Okay, great. Uh, One hundred and thirty dollars, please. Neat. Mm-hmm. All right, here. Thank you. <laughs> What kind of food does it eat? Bird seeds. <laughs> <laughs> crackers. Now yeah, now yeah. Cracker, crackers. We should probably stock up while we're here. Do they want a cracker? I can help. What does it say? It's it's young, so it's so it's we can teach it things. Yeah, yeah. The more the more it hears the same phrases. The Top more of the morning them. to you. Jack loses. Jack loses. Jack loses. Jack loses. Jack. I will punch you in the mouth. <laughs> the bird? That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Rafa. Fourteen. Hi. To do what? Punch him in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he pops you in the mouth, and the bird goes. Ah, Jack loses. <laughs> <laughs> Very impressionable bird. <laughs> Lunch. <laughs> You're not there. I know. <laughs> well, thank you so much, uh, little girl. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll Sally. Sally. Very good to meet you, Sally. Uh, we are going to buy some food. As Does well. she have a name yet? No, no. We we let the new owners name them. I just called her Sugar. Jack. Are <laughs> 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 you going to name it Earl Grey? <laughs> <laughs> How would you like your tea? Sugar! Sugar! (laughs) (laughs) Well, we are having too much fun with this parrot. (laughs) I mean, we gotta make sure that the only person who says what the parrot's going to say... Oh, it will be. ...is John. It will be. (laughs) (coughs) Also, I don't want any of you trying to teach my bird things. Unless I ask... I mean, he bought it for you. I think he's allowed to do what he wants with it. <laughs> That's true. Here, I'll give you a little. Uh, I'll do a little something for you. K O K O K O K O. Jack loses. K O K O. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Punch him in the mouth again. Punch <laughs> 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 him in the mouth again. For a big old bag. Okay. I have a lot of cash on Yeah. It. So you. Thank you. She rings it up. Do I need to carry that? I'm you sorry? Don't worry about the bird. Okay. Mm. Anything else? You sure you don't want that cage? Uh, I mean, hey, it's his bird now. If he wants a cage, he can buy it. <coughs> um, What's he going to sleep in at night? Same place Maya. I'm sleeping in the bus. Sounds as if you have uh, made your purchase. Um, I will meet you at the bus. Okay. 
Okay, we will be heading back there as long as we are not abducted in the meantime. Good luck. I'm gonna do my best. Okay. How do I train you to be a sane eye parrot? <laughs> Does the girl hear this? As we walk she out, she snickers. <laughs> she just smiles and says, "Have a good day." Bless his heart. <laughs> <laughs> Which is code for what? <laughs> Actually, ble- bless your heart is like a, a big old f you. It's, it's a big old catch all, really. Yeah. I mean, it's. Sometimes it's sarcastic, sometimes it's not. You know, it just really depends on when it's said. Context. <laughs> and how it's said. Okay, so you guys make your way back with your parrot. I attempt to teach it basic Irish pleasantries. Such as. Oh, how are you doing? It's been too long since I've seen you last. Would you like some tea? I could get Higher you some low. tea. Hi. Hi, hello. Hi. Or low. Hi. It doesn't seem to pick up on, pick any, up of on them. any of them. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so far, it's only memorized Jack loses. <laughs> it's got three phrases so far. So, whatever he says? <laughs> paid? I'm going to no, have no, I the, It had the two that it already had, and it, I did the higher low. It's it, okay. It kept, Jack loses. So it's okay. Didn't phrases. it get KO, though? Jack has no. patience. <laughs> How much? I didn't know he was a doctor. Anyway, I, I honestly feel like too that you should just start randomly rolling oh, on I, your own. Oh, I will just be. Make Don't sure worry. He just oh, keeps picks picks up I'm random making, words. I'm random making words. a list and I'm going to put it on a random table. Don't worry okay. about that. I'm going to keep my eyes open with a 12 perception to make okay. sure that we're not going to get surprised again. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So Ed, you actually make it back to the area without any more incident. I'm also going to try to uh, teach the bird our names. Okay. So we've got giggles. High or low? Hi. Next one? Uh, we've got... Uh, giggles in refer- reference to... Amaya. Okay. Uh, we've got... Agent Badman. Hi or low? <laughs> Hi. And uh, <laughs> that's in reference to... Agent okay. Badman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone uh, else's name you're going to try? I'll, 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 I'll try to get the others once it meets them. Okay. Just so it can identify who's who. Okay. And you guys get back on without any incident to the rest of them. Yay. Woo! You and guys I'm are still all back together. Picking up pieces of the poem. I'm wondering what the hell happened because it shouldn't have been. Okay, so you guys get there, you see Dustin with a bunch of phone pieces, pieces mm. of cell phones, little bits of plastic and metal and scrap. You uh. see uh, Jonah's closing the hood on his rig. What happened to the phone? I shot it once with an arrow. And it blew up? Yes. Apparently he says phones do that. I believe him. I did not say that. I said they're not supposed to do that. Can I use ionetic memory to see if I've ever heard of this happening? You can. Fifteen. You've never heard of that happening. And now you actually did tell me that phones do that. Actually, you know, old galaxy phones. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. This was not five. an old galaxy phone. <laughs> old iPhones used to do that too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it was the... Uh, iPhone 8 that caught fire? I think it was 7, but so I could be wrong. Anyway. I'll, teach, I'll also teach uh, the parrot uh, Preacher Man and Sandbag. Parallel? Preacher Hi. Man? Hi. Hi. And uh, Sandbag Parallel? Hi. <laughs> Does yeah. Trevor know how to say low? Yeah. Nope. And it's 50 50, so. <laughs> exactly. Doesn't really matter. The odds are the same either way. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Someone says I owe the show hundred. Yeah, that was. That would Rafa. be Rafa. Yep. 
because you guys got the parrot. Because yeah. Wait, did you say a hundred bucks or a hundred bits? Bits. bits? bits. I think a hundred bucks would be more. Uh, more <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be, it'd be much Why more. Why are you trying to do? Steal yeah. a food off of his table? <laughs> put him in the full house. Okay, so Shame what do you guys do? You guys are all back together. Oh God. <laughs> Shame. Who? Why did you uh, buy about lunch? What time is it? What? Uh, about what now it'd be lunch? almost eleven. Okay. I didn't. This is a pet. No, it's, it's not your lunch. lunch. No, no touching. What? Is it a good time to stop, Santa? Soon. We're almost there. Okay. Um, uh, no touching. Okay, this is technically my property. Uh, he's holding him for now, but you're not Her. allowed to touch this. So you reach over to try to touch the parrot. Mm -hmm. High or low? Low. Ah! Jack loses. And starts pecking at your hand. <laughs> Cute. I like this one. He can stay. I taught him that. <laughs> well, he is a she, and um. What's her name? I'm, I'm thinking on that. I'm thinking Roshin. Parallel. I. Just check. Mm. Roach. Roshin. Roshin. R O S I N. Okay. Now, uh, Jack, <laughs> there are certain rules that are associated with uh, bringing this uh, creature yeah. aboard my, my, my bus. Oh. You clean after him. Oh, uh, are we not allowed yeah. to, to have pets on, on the bus? Well, oh, the pets make a mess, so... I figured we kept Santa Bag and him. I don't uh, stay on the bus. <laughs> I'm sure that, uh, you know, you can make yourself <laughs> useful by, by being the, the custodian and, 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 uh, and maid uh, for the entire bus if you keep on talking to me like that. How exactly is, is he supposed to uh, clean the bus? If With a toothbrush. If he's blind. He I can cover the entire people. thing. He can mop. Well, I'll do my mop. best to uh, clean house if that's what you need. Oh, hey. I had a mess that uh, your your pet makes you clean up. So where's this thing going to sleep? I don't know. Where am I going to sleep? <coughs> yeah, I have a question on that, too. Uh, if I'm going to go along with you on this road trip, I don't, where am I going to sleep? I already offered you. No, no this uh, is a tour bus. <laughs> there are bus. dead bus. <laughs> there are beds. Neat. Unless you want to hang from the ceiling. Are you a bat? Uh, I am not, but she is. She is not a bat. She is an angel. <laughs> I am not. I thought she was a shadow. No, she's not the shadow. She's not a shadow. No. She's just Roshin, not Roshin, what's her All name? Right. So. The bird does not respond. Uh, Can I name it? No. Why not? Because her name's Roshin. Pull out a cracker. Who's Roshin. asking about Would me? Would you care for a cracker? Shadow. Hello. Hmm? He's asking about me. Shadow. 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 Makes you drop asking the cracker. Why are you so tossing? Your name is Claus gets a cracker and ah. starts eating it. Well, uh, we were got bits of garbage <laughs> and then filth on your she, suit. Jack yeah. loses. Uh, well, we were uh, we were we were walking to the pet store, and uh, we were being chased by uh, a detective. And I rolled what did you into do? What did you do? Alley. You were chased by a detective. Yeah, it's a long story. They said I killed someone. And did, did you? you? No. My kind of guy. All right, Wait, did so... I kill no, I did not kill somebody. Why did I kill somebody? I, I did think for drugs, sure, and maybe a goat, but... Did you fight people? <laughs> a goat? Uh, no, you you, do you're, a saying, goat? you're saying <laughs> the, uh, the things that you did in New York City. They are following me, granted, but I will admit I didn't kill anybody. Wait, what did they, you do with a wait, goat? He's a, he's a Someone has chased you from New York? Yeah, they said that I had a... Was horse. it a marshal? They said he was a detective. A detective? Yeah. I actually want to know what you do from with New the York goat. City. Yeah. Why, is that weird? In Georgia. Yes. There's, a, there's, a, there's a thing called jurisdiction. Huh. <laughs> did he identify himself? Yes, I even got his card. His name is uh, Detective David Bauer. Boyer. Do I know anything about this? This is Detective Boyer. Roll. I'll be a 13. 
you know, it's the questions about do you know anything about dirty cops working with the mob? No, not at all. Of course not. Working with the mob. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why would a preacher know anything about a cop working with the mob? Mm. Well, sinners. <laughs> sinners everywhere. <laughs> If it makes you feel better, I pushed a dumpster at him. That's true. And then I held his gun up to him. That's Congratulations. True. And I showed him my credentials. Yeah. You almost got yourself shot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to call up Detective Clay again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, did you find out anything about that poor departed lady? Uh, according to her daughter, they... Uh, um, they moved to Atlanta about two, two and a half years ago. And where were they before that? Um, before that, uh, they lived uh, actually down south. Um, they lived uh, um, in a small trailer outside of a small town called Slocum. <coughs> they were from Slocum? No, 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 they lived outside of Slocum. Small trailer court. I see. Can you, uh, can you shoot me that information? Yeah, yeah, I can definitely do that. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, you have a, you have a, a person by the name of David Boyer. Oh, Detective Boyer, yeah, he's been trying to get my boss to let him use a helicopter all day. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the My boss thing. keeps telling him that he's, that he's, he's not authorized, he's out of he, jurisdiction. He, he asserted, he asserted jurisdiction in another way here. Tried to... Tried to arrest somebody at gunpoint. <laughs> oh, them Yankees. You know. So, uh, I'm not Damn sure. Yanks. You know what? He is he is shitting in your backyard. Uh, no, it's my, not my job to... My to captain's do. all over him. It's all right. He's been... Uh, his captain has asked us to escort him back out of our state lines to where the next state up will pick him up and escort him all the way back to New York City. Oh, uh, now mind you, be careful. I don't think he has uh, all the all the cups in his cupboard, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, and I heard him ranting in my captain's office earlier today. Like I said, telling him, telling us that there's a dangerous fugitive committing murders in our city, and there is. But well, there probably is. Probably not the guy that he that he was referring to. Yeah. <coughs> no. Uh, no, you know, you know, uh, you know who. Who uh, I've fingered, Mr. Silhouette from uh, Belial. Really? What? Yeah. Do you have any uh, proof of that? Uh, no, just uh, just some informants. Okay, well that's that's it's gonna help. I mean, not much. I mean, no one's really seen that guy, but mm. that explains why the feds are here. But uh, I told you this uh, last night, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, yeah. Sorry, it's just been a long day. <laughs> a uh, long week. He's a uh, long he's couple uh, of days. <laughs> <laughs> long few days. He's a slightly built, short, male. Wears a trench coat, I think. Uh, what were you describing? Very agile. Uh, oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, that's a uh, okay. I will. If I could get an APB with this, that would be easy, but. but you described a bunch of people. <laughs> oh. You know, that circus in town, you know. I mean, carnival, sorry. Mm. Hey, John. Known associates, uh, uh, some, some, some man named Whirlwind. Yeah, no, I know who his associates are. Uh, well, anyways, uh, we're going to be leaving in a couple of days, so... Uh, uh, if there's anything else we can uh, help you out with, then yeah, let, just me, let know. me know if anything weird happens. Um, one of his associates is a well-known hacker, so. Oh well, uh, my phone was hacked. Do you still have it? Uh, no, it blow. It blew up. Okay, well, if something like that happens again, try to get us the. Yeah, I can try to get it to some of our people and see if maybe they can figure. Well, out you how want the pieces. It blew up. It's not going to help. The pieces uh, aren't going to help. We need a working order if we're going to uh, try to figure out how they hacked it. Oh, uh, well, hey. Can I'll I hear what's being said since, since I'm staying like right there? You can hear what he's saying. Right. All right. They well, can hear both sides of the conversation. 
Right. <laughs> I can't. I'm reading to uh, the yeah. machine. Okay. Then, hey, uh, you have my regards, Mr. Mr. Detective Clay. Yeah. Sorry about that, folks. And click. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You hear in the background some some sort of commotion behind him. Yeah, I got I gotta go click. <laughs> what was that about someone being from Slocum? Yeah, I was curious about that too. Well, that uh, that poor uh, uh, bystander that was shot up from uh, from uh, the crime scene, uh, the woman that was shot through the wall. Uh, she was uh, uh, from Slocum, or the thereabouts, uh, trailer park outside Slocum. Do you remember that name? Yeah. Friendly Village. Allison Maynard. Do yeah. I recognize it at all? Hi, hello. Hi. Um, yeah, actually, you do. Um, yeah. There were some Maynards that, that you went to school with. Um, Allison Maynard? No, but you went to school with with a family name in there. They didn't have any daughters. Gotcha. Um, so it might be a married name. Um, okay. But yeah, yeah you, you, you were in the football team with a, with a couple of them. Did he say where they were uh, Where they were from specifically? Like, hmm? like Slocum, Alabama, where they were from specifically by chance? I'm getting the information by text uh, as soon as uh, Detective Clay can get to it. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I recall that there was a uh, Main art family that lived over there, but it was. Uh, don't recall any Allisons. Or any females, for that matter. What names do I recall? Um, you recall. Uh, hold on. Can I see that file real quick? Okay. Can I see the file real quick, please? Uh, sure. Um, I left my copy of that at home. Like a good game master. Mm -hmm. You always gotta forget something. Yeah. Just like your brain. Um. I think I got the. I think I got the name wrong. No, you didn't. You're good. Oh, well, he was the one who said the name. <laughs> no, he was the one that said the name, but it's the right name. No, you said the name. No, I repeated it. Oh. No, I think I got the wrong name, but whatever. We can change it. I'll fix it in post. We'll fix it in post. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, on a live stream. I mean, I do intend to do zero editing, so... I figured. It's all good. Okay. So we'll fix it in post. In post. Yeah. Yeah, it was the wrong name, but that's going to be the name now. <laughs> okay, Maynards. Um, uh, I can't even read this. It got blurred. Nice. So I love that was back to you on that one. No, it was not intentional. It, I did white out and then wrote on it. And get back uh, to me on the names? Yeah, I'll get back to you on the names. Okay. I mean, you could just come up with some bullshit ones right now. No, because it ties into the case. Okay. So, so when I get my case, <coughs> I will tell you. So I'll tell you next week. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, your character's kind of forgetful, so you're going to be sitting there thinking on it for a while. Yeah, you know. Huh. <laughs> Did I, did, I, did I remember their names? Did I actually remember that they were there? Or am I making that up in my mind? <laughs> Was there a main arm? Wow. So, right about now, you guys with the keen hearing senses that you have would hear someone walking up to the bus. Meanwhile, you guys wouldn't. Um, that don't have keen Looks hearing. Looks like we got to visitor. Can I still roll anyways? No. Oh. But you guys do hear a, a soft <laughs> tapping on the bus's door. Come in. Can I roll for that one? Yeah, you can roll for that one if you want. Double ones, you fail. You can poke yourself in the ear. <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, I hear something. <laughs> John. I don't let go, but you guys see uh, Agent Beaudry walk up. You walk in. Uh, okay. Happy to see you too. He's a little quick on the draw there. Hello, fellow agent. Do I recognize How's it going, Miss yes. Beaudry? Oh, it's the Sid Hey. We've had some trouble today. I've heard. 
ish. I got a bird. Are you okay? Did he shoot you? Uh, no, I was too quick. Oh, good. Whew. Yeah, all that training at Langley, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I got back here as quick as I could. Um, did you get the text with the stuff? Mm -hmm. The maps? Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm sorry, did you say Langley? Yes. I thought Langley, you were Virginia. We are? Quantico. Yeah. We are. That isn't Langley CIA? Well, I mean, we have offices all over the place. Um, I'm from the DMV. <laughs> Brandon <laughs> Beckus? <laughs> <laughs> DMV. Oh, uh, I heard, I heard so B and B. How's it going? <laughs> uh, how's okay, life? I got back as quick as I could. You guys said you might want some help deciphering stuff, so... Well, since that number is still on my phone, the video is... Bring it up and play it for her. Oh, oh. Your phone's been hacked. Here, I'm going to have to destroy this for you. His phone's been hacked. Oh, this isn't... The original. No. Oh. Yeah. That phone. So you guys would all hear what I said earlier in the stream about the, the voices and whatnot and his voice changing to an evil demonic sounding voice. That like, phone has been destroyed with one shot. Wait, Preacher, why would you say something like that? He didn't. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, that, that looks like the work of uh, Dangerous, all right. Of who? Dangerous. She's Who's part of Belial. Oh. She's one of. Um, That's right. We were talking about it. I think like last. Yeah. Last, last night. Last night. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. was gonna say last week, but it may. So I got myself a new phone. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Changed all the passwords. Yeah, it looks like uh, you've got their attention somehow. What did we do wrong? Um, uh, on their Android and kick its ass. Investigating the the the, the dirty laundry. Oh, maybe. You need to go washers. Do you know if the Corinthian Empire is associated with Belial? Yeah, so I've looked into that a little bit. That was something you guys asked me to do. Um, my higher up said that they Would can like neither tea? confirm nor deny any Corinthian involvement on Earth. Which means something's up and I just don't have the clearance to get to that. Oh, uh, by the way, Miss, miss uh, Agent... Agent uh, miss. Uh, anyways, uh, Agent Poultry. Yes, that one. Yes. Uh, so there's a uh, the family that got murdered here in town. Yes. Well, one of the families. The the lady that got murdered in the other room. Yeah, the accidental shot, which is kind of odd. So their name was Maynard, I believe. Um, Last yeah, name? I believe yeah. so. I'd have to look at the case file. Again. I actually remember them from Slocum, Alabama. Apparently, there was. Uh, well, I don't know. I'd Wait, you remember something? Yeah, I mean, they were they, they lived in Slocum. Does that name ring a bell to you by chance? Um, it's a town in Alabama. Yeah, but yeah, that that's. I mean, I've heard of it. Hmm. Anything Mostly from the internet with people. There's like all sorts of videos of how to pronounce it. Any yeah. idea as to what would have brought them <laughs> up here by chance? I have no idea. Uh, we could definitely research that. Well, you're from Slocum. What brought you all the way up here? <coughs> uh, I'm a trucker. He was just for some loving. Life, <laughs> life takes you weird places. Yeah, trucking takes me weird places. This conversation is in a weird place. Oh yes, uh, most certainly. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Well, I got a bird. I see that. You should name it. She has a name. Y you should still name it. Her name is Roshane. So, Agent Bowdry. Ah, my name's Roshane. Ah. <laughs> as near as we Please can... Please meet you. As near as we can guess... Would you like some tea? The next uh, murder is going to occur in this nostril area. Interesting, yeah. So, uh... Maybe somewhere in the uh, Oklahoma... Are we, are we gonna yeah, go we're going to... I'm going to go to Slocum and uh, investigate the, what needs to be looked at and then s cut across, straight across, to the nostril. Well, while you guys go there, I'll go to the area, that area and see if maybe I can dig up something. It's a quite a big area. Does that so mean we're not getting past these anymore? We what? Can, we can yes, get past these uh, right later. Now. All right. 
so I can I'll start searching that area and see what I can find while you guys are going to Slocum and following your lead. Uh, much obliged. I wonder if Grubhub does uh, interstate. Um, I very seriously doubt it. What's Grubhub? <laughs> it's a food <laughs> delivery service. I like how you doubted it before you even knew what it was. <coughs> hey. I mean, theoretically, Sorry. we could uh, order beignets from Cafe Du Monde from New Orleans and uh, have it delivered out to Slocum. They also have the mix that you can buy. I ain't the same. I've never been good at those. Mixing. About what time of day is it? Uh, about lunch. one o'clock. Just after lunch. I All think right. we have a plan, though. Yeah. So okay. So I'll go and, and do and do my investigative work, and you guys head down to Slocum. Sounds like a plan. Don't right. worry, this bird won't sing about any secrets. How, <laughs> how was your uh, your flight over here? Was the plane nice? Um, it was a it was a pretty smooth flight. Yeah. Very fast. Okay. Direct. Non-stop. Nice. Nice. Uh, had some really good tailwinds. Was was a really good uh, service on the plane too? No, no service. Oh. Not that service. kind of flight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've, but I've don't worry, I ate before I got on. Before I, I flew. I've got to go, guys. I got a meeting. Did Catch. you need any tea? I think so. No. I'm, here. I'm, go. I'm sorry. <laughs> what <laughs> meeting? I gotta go. I have a. Uh, I have an appointment with somebody. With who? His uh, shrink. Our mutual friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, you yes. go take care of that. Yeah. Tell her I said hi. I will. Do you want uh, me to take Roshin with you? I can't hear you. <laughs> Bye. All right, well, try not to get shot in the back of the head running away <laughs> to your appointment. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Still alive. He stumbles down the stairs. Don't piss your pants. <laughs> I'm still good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Don't piss your pants. And Too that's late. where we're going to end it tonight. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. want to say a quick thank you to uh, Epic Worlds and Games. Hey, Jimmy, one of these days we will have you on the stream, I promise. Sure, we hope. Um, four Eyes Ales. Looking forward to that beer that uh, Rafa mentioned earlier that Quasi didn't hear. And um, Enduring films. films. So, hey, Chuck, thanks for letting us use your wonderful place again. And, and viewers like you. Viewers like you. No. And all of our subscribers. Wonderful subscribers such as Hairball, Dragon Gem, and anyone else that is subscribed that I don't I, have I a was subscriber list in the, front uh, of me. Squire. Oh, yeah, no. He's. Uh, that was just an announcement at the beginning to let people know about him. He's, right. not, a, he's not a sponsor, therefore, yep. we'll see. Anyway, <laughs> so thank you guys all for watching. It's been a wonderful stream. I've enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed it. Uh, Thursdays, Thursday I think nights. there's something going on. Yes, 8.30 uh, here on this channel. We do Fortune Fitters Aboard. Uh, and uh, we'll be playing, if we get the box in time, we'll be playing for a prize sent by... Uh, four Eyes Ales. I'm actually really excited about it. I hope I win, but if I don't, I'll just cry. I mean, I feel like I might just win like usual. <laughs> so you'll stay in character then? Uh, what death character? are going to happen? And, uh, <laughs> and on that note, Bill thank Sender you guys for watching. We will see you guys on Sunday. Bye.